we had a monster night in the association. <clears throat> a lot went on. We had some crazy performances. We also had a game winner, had some triple doubles, and some disappointing performances as well. Also, there was a trade this morning. We'll talk about who was traded and the contender they were traded to. But most importantly, we got to start with last year's MVP and the front runner this year's MVP scoring 70 points last night. Um, it don't mean you. nothing. What? It means nothing. The man always get a lot of points against bad teams. What does that mean? Does that impress you that Joel Embiid are always scoring a lot of points against bad teams? Do that. Tell him to do that to the best defenses in the NBA. Every time you see Joel Embiid had these outbursts, he does it against bad teams. You didn't see the report out about him the other day about how Joel Embiid always does this. Sometimes he'll duck the big teams to play the bad teams and stat pad against them. Google that. Look that report up, bro. That don't impress me, man, that you dropped 70 on a, one of the worst teams in the league. All of his highest scoring games are against the worst teams in the league, bro. So I don't want to hear that. The one game he came out and balled out that I give him credit for was the game against Jokic. So he get credit for that. Scoring 70 against the Spurs, man, come on, bro. We ain't poking he scored 48 right against Jokic last year, too, Ticket. Say what? Yeah, yeah, he no, I'm saying. I'm talking about this season. I'm talking about this season, bro. Big This season, big dog. Okay. So I'm just saying, I mean, most of the, most of his outbursts, big, big scoring games come against bad teams. Look it up. He's got a few teams. Like when Jokic still take it to Jokic's teams. But outside of that, look up his history. Mars no ain't lying. All you got to do is Google it. He's fun. been accused of sitting out against a lot of the big teams. Look, 70 is 70. You get 70 anywhere, it's buckets. But at the same time, man, like I said before, bro, you beat the – you beat one of the worst teams in the NBA, one of the worst defenses in the NBA. They don't have no interior. They have nobody. We act like they have somebody that can. I thought you. Them. I thought you. I thought you said that Victor Wembanyama was like the best defender ever, or some shit. Like whatever that. happened to all that? No, he's too light in the ass. That's all. He's nah, just, he for sure. He for sure is like the Joel was supposed to Bob. kill him. You already Bob. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I know. I know Joel. Joel. <laughs> Joel, 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 was, Joel was supposed to kill him. I'm, Joel That's was right. supposed to attack him. But this is my thing, though, no, Tiki. We don't got to We don't got to disrespect the game. No, I just like the game. I'm just saying, no, no, no. He just asked, like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it would have impressed me more if he would have did it against a good team. See what I'm saying? Nah, he, he could do it against a good team, but, I mean, everybody, I thought I thought Victor Wimbayama's defense was respected around here. No, 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 no. His his off-ball defense, when he got to play, like, you know how it is. I, you have dudes that play great off-ball defense, uh -huh. that, but can't play man-to-man -man defense because they're not strong enough. So you might be a good shot blocker, a good help defender like that, like Wimby is. He's a good defender on the perimeter as far as blocking but, shots out there. But I as mean, far Wimby, as Wimby, him, Wimby, that's that's a mismatch for Joel, right? He was he was supposed he was supposed to, and I said this I said this at the beginning of the season. Wimby's too light. He's gonna get bullied. You know what I'm saying? That's no knock to him because the the young man is gonna get stronger. He's gonna get bigger. He's gonna put on weight. That's not gonna happen to him all his career. But it's seventy points ticket. I don't. I don't give it. I don't give a damn if he gives seventy to my son. Hey, you know what fake saying? Kareem Abdul Jabbar, he, he, you shut your mouth in that comment section. You scared? He got. Yeah, he got. He got. He got. He got. He got. Your boy, your boy running on. his mouth in the comment section, Bob. Your, your, your boy Shaq. <laughs> but he's speaking <laughs> facts though. It's seventy <laughs> points, bro. The fake, the fake Dr. J is in here running his mouth. He always ducking smoke. Don't nobody want to hear from you. Unless you're going to stand up to the man. Big, big, big Ox, ain't that, you, but, but Big Ox, ain't that tick point? I mean, he was supposed to kick. He was supposed to kick. He was supposed to kick Wimby's ass yesterday. Yeah. And he did. And, he did. and don't get me wrong. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. 70 is incredible. 100% 70 is incredible. But him, him doing that. Didn't he have 60 a couple of nights ago? I, 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 think, he has, I think he has 60 a couple of nights ago. So with that being said, I mean, he was supposed to do that, and yo, we see him peak Joel Embiid. Peak, right. peak that peak right. Joel peak. Embiid, right? He on, he, he's I, I, on, he's on don't get me wrong, right Miles. Don't, don't get me wrong, Miles. I ain't saying he was supposed to put seventy on 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 Wimby. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying though was he was supposed to outplay Wimby. I'm not at any points discounting what he did. I mean, how many guys have scored seventy? Chamberlain, Mitchell, Bryant. Booker. Dame, Booker, uh, let's see, David Thompson, what George you call Gervin, 62 last night. So I mean, bro. David, Ro no, David no. Robinson, David Elton Robinson, Baylor, Elton Chilton. Baylor. Old boy scored 62 last night in this league, bro. You had the most players scoring 30 points per game the other year than you had in a long time, bro. It's easier to score because the game is going back up and down. If you watching the game, the way they're playing and the way these guys are getting up shots and stuff like that, he ain't really watch Joel Embiid last night. He ain't had no resistance, bro. Like, come on, man. That ain't like he dropped 70. Like, with Kobe, they're double-teaming him, triple-teaming him. Ticket, he, that, that's not true, though. They were doubling. And first off, yeah, Wimby team. was not guarding him. No, Wimby no, was not, not guarding no, no, Joel. They, they were double-teaming Joel all night. You think they was playing hard against him, bro? 
Ticket, ticket yeah. what? Yes, they were ticket. Mm -hmm. So they weren't trying. You they, they were, hold on, you watched that game last night. You think all game they was playing hard against him? Take it, yes. yes. What was the? Hold on, let me ask you a question. Where was the technical foul? Where was the flagrant fouls? He because I know some, one it thing. Was hold on, I know no, one it was thing. Hard fouls. I, I know one thing, Ron. I know Bobby Evans. If a dude got forty-five on him, it's a flagrant foul coming up. If you got, if you got forty-five, I'm gonna play defense. It's huh? I've never in my life taken a foul. I've never in my life gone caught for no flagrant foul before. No, I'm saying no, no. I don't I'm play, saying, I don't no, play no, like that, bro. I'm, I'm, saying, if I'm, I'm getting no, no. cooked, I'm just getting cooked. Bob, Bob, I'm no, look, I might look at my coach like, yo, take me out, bro. Save me. Bob, Bob, I ain't just going to be saying. I ain't going to be saying, hitting Bob, people, I'm though. Saying. Come on, bro. I'm saying a flagrant foul because in this era, if you hack a dude hard, they call flagrant. So what I'm saying is, is this. If a dude is cooking, if a dude cooking me like that, bro, I'm sending a message, bro. Look, you ain't finna just keep getting buckets. Like, you're gonna get fouled hard. Me, your, your, me your message your message should be getting a stop on defense. No, I'm like, saying, like bro, obviously. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I feel you, though. I feel, I feel what you're saying. And no, there was I'll a couple times that he was, from, but, and it was yeah. a couple times he was hard, he was fouled hard. It wasn't no flagrant fouls, but it was a couple times he was fouled hard. I feel what you're saying, but it's you the think same. Was flop, you think it was a flop more than a foul? You think it was a flop more than a no, foul? No, it, it, it was a couple times they fouled him hard. Man, Joel be selling that stuff, bro. Somebody touch that dude, that dude, ah! Dude be wailing his <laughs> the, 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 stuff. There, there was a flagrant foul. Like, what are we talking about? He got flagrant no, 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 foul no, no, on the no, no, court. No, 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 no. I watched that. Oh, he did. No, he no, did, no, huh? Yeah, he like, Mark, Mark, oh, no, Mark, Mark, Mark. All right, whatever. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. First, it's where's the flagrant fouls. Now, there's not enough flagrant fouls. Mark's button. Yes, it's not. Hold on. Yes, it's not. Because I'm gonna give you an example. You supposed to just play with foul for 12 minutes straight. Hold on. Let, let, let me give no, you. No, that's not what he's saying. No, that's not what he's saying. Hey, let me, let me give no, you a perfect example. And I guarantee y'all gonna hear this today. If Kenya Martin is undersized, if he's guarding him, Kmart gonna tell you today. Hey, shit, let me see it, man. Boy, that boy gonna give out. That boy give out four hard ones. He getting every one gonna be hard. All these dudes we talk about, Chill Town, them OG. That's why I chill. I I give more credit when the OGs, the big OG big men. Like Hakeem, like all these dudes put up these banana because they was really playing against defensive goons on a night to night basis. They was playing against dudes that was going to foul you, play you hard, bump you hard. You can't play now like you used to play. Now they allow the game to be played in a more finesse way. Bob, notice it ain't that bang, bang, and I'm hitting you back and I'm getting to bump you halfway down the court before you. I can, Bob knows this, I can push you on the three point line before you can even post up. I've already met you at the three point line, so you can't get positioned. All of these things they've taken out of the game. So when you take this stuff out of the game, you've given the advantage to – it's like in the football. They they took the uh, – roughing the quarterback, they made that – like they protected the quarterback so much that now they say the game ain't the same no more. Well, if you look in, if you look in basketball, they took the physicality out of the game so much, Gary Payton wouldn't be half as effective in this era as he was in his era. Because so they, we, they so we, can't, we, can't, we can't respect a, a great performance by the – the uh, defending MVP or whatever, however you call it, the the, the MVP. We can't uh, we can't respect that because you're saying that nobody is hitting them hard enough. Nobody no, no, playing no. physical. I'm saying, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying two things. First of all, he's playing in against mm. the worst, worst teams in the NBA. Secondly, secondly, let me say this. Secondly, I said mm -hmm. that I don't just put it on the level of other guys in the past who have scored big games. I wouldn't put it on the level of guys like David Robinson when he scored uh, all those points. I wouldn't put it on the level of guys like Carl Malone, who's had huge games on those level, those big men back in the, in, the, in the day who had big games because they played against defenses that were way more physical. It was harder to score. Chilltown, no, I'm not lying. It was harder to get buckets. It was harder to score in those areas mm -hmm. in the post and around the post. You know, you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. with the evolution of the three ball, now – a guy like Joel Embiid can shoot six, seven, eight threes a game versus guys then that was getting 60, 65 chill town. That was all posting in. That was all paint area in. You well, just, just, to, just to stick with my New Year's resolution, I'm not comparing this to David Robinson's 70 points. I'm not doing that. This is this is the NBA now. This is basketball now. And how come how come how come everybody ain't scoring 70 then? You know what I'm saying? He's seven, hey, 70 is impressed. Like I said oh, already. Come on, come on. Like, like I said already. Guys, I don't care. Already. I don't care if he would have gave 70 to my daughter. Seven you had multiple guys 70 points, 60 already. So what? That doesn't so yeah. that that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we need to knock somebody for doing it. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and get a man. I guarantee respect, you one thing, Bob. Get a man to get a man his love. I guarantee, for you, I guarantee you wouldn't play that. Only thing, only thing, only thing, only thing we'll, we'll need get to that thing, ticket. No, 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 Ron. Here's the hypocrisy. Here's the hypocrisy, Ron. Hold on, wait, wait, if hold on, wait. Let me, let me, Bob let me. Would criticize. He would criticize Cat for getting sixty-two last night. I said I, I did criticize Chat. I, I just got off my morning show. See, 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 Ron. But look, 
hold on. Ain't no C. Ain't no C. Ain't no C. I didn't. I didn't say. Oh, he scored sixty two, but he weak because nobody, nobody flagrant fouled him. I said he scored sixty two. They lost. That's what I said. Y'all know. Y'all know that's my stance every time. I don't care what you do. You got to win the game. Now he still scored sixty two, an impressive sixty two. But y'all got to y'all got to pull out that victory, big fella. That's what I said. But I'm not gonna knock somebody for scoring a gang of points, especially this year, because that's my New Year's resolution. Man, I'm not, I thought I'm you not was thinking, big ox, man. I thought you were big ox. I, I, I am. Hey, I'm. I am big ox. Anybody, 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 anybody that anybody that been on that any, ox, anybody that been on that block with me, anybody that never ducked me on that block, they know I'm the big ox. And don't ever, hey, don't ever, don't ever, don't ever second guess it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, Yo, that, anybody that ever been in that jungle with me know what time it is. So once ticket. again, I'm gonna say I respect that 70 points from you, Joel Embiid. Hell of a game, young man. Hell of a game. Ticket. I got a couple questions for you, and then Mars. I want to hear your outlook on this whole 70 point performance but ticket uh i do want to ask you um was it ethical the fact that he only scored or only made one three he got 70 and only made one three you know what I'm saying, bro once again once again we talking about errors and we talking about level of defense y'all not y'all listen everybody in the comment section i don't care what they say they can go against me they don't know basketball bro but when you hear i guarantee you this Ron, when you hear the pros talk about this today the guards like Gil, he'll probably be like, yeah, yeah, you know, it be. But when you talk about the OGs, man, like if you talk to King and Martin, he gonna say, shit, man, look, anybody that gets seventy, I'm gonna tell you what he gonna say. Anybody that will get seventy is real. But shit, it's too easy to score in this area. That's what they gonna say because guys played against tougher defenses. I'm talking about guys who was able to be more physical with you. Chilltown, know this. It's a difference when you as Chilltown is a guard. It's a difference when. A guy can hand check you versus when he can't hand check you. Chilltown, know this. If a guy can't hand check Chilltown, Chilltown is buckets. As aggressive as he played, that's a bucket if a guy cannot hand check you and guide you to where he want to go. It's harder to score when a guy's able to get up in you, hand check you, be physical with you, and play with you a different style of basketball. That's why the games had lower scoring games. I, I agree with you, line. Ticket. I, I agree with you. But then I got to ask you a follow up question. So now, providing the air attacks, what would you say his 70 is really worth? 40. In errors, 40? 40. So last, last night was a 40-point game in the 80s, How many 90s. How free throws he shot? He shot 24. 22, 23. 40. 40. 23. 23. 21 for 23. He made, he made 21. 40? 40. 40. Bro, listen. Chilltown know this because he's from that era, bro. Chilltown know dudes is not just allowing you to come on and just get buckets like that, bro. You really was gonna have to work to get a bucket. Chill know this. I watched Chill's videos. It's 2024, bro. They're gonna it's get in you. No, I'm saying to you, they're gonna be four, my god. We gotta we gotta move on, bro. That's why that's why that's why I was talking. That's why I was saying that shit in the chat yesterday. See, but that's the, you, not, you, you, but you're nah, a contradiction, I'm though. Not, I, nigga, I'm not, I'm not I wasn't it was no contradiction, bro. You I, just I, was talking about how you want big no, men to play in the post. Listen, listen, bro. Just please, please, please listen to me. Please just listen to what I'm saying, bro. I I understand that the game is different. I, I love I like the old style of play a lot more, but we got it. We got it. We got to come off of this stuff. It's 2024. They are not letting. They are not letting this hit you, hit you, hit you like that no more. The game has changed, and we can, it's not going to go back. The money the money is in this style of basketball. So we got to figure out another way to stop you. I can't I can't disrespect the man for going to 70 just because I grew up in the 90s. That's just not how the game goes no more. We got to stop doing this shit. That's why I was talking shit yesterday in the chat because y'all stuck in y'all ways, man. We got no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not, Bob. Fellas, I fellas. Not, I, 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 hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't chill, walk chill, in my ways. I, Ox and chill, I got to mute you because I can't be stuck in my ways. You're right, Ox. I can't be an L host. I have to read the super chats, especially when it's a twenty-five dollar super chat, which means change the subject immediately. From Two Buddy, Two Buddy said, "Ron, read the other super chats, bro. This nigga is going on rapping for the next hour. Enough. We don't care about his narratives. All right, so I'm gonna get into the other super chats. Let's go. So, ahead don't nobody care what you got to say, bro. You here, right? If you don't like it, leave. The door is right there. Let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. You see, ain't gonna go nowhere. I laughed. At Look, I went through a blizzard, a, a thunderstorm, a ice storm, a rainstorm, all kind of shit. And I'm still right here. What you think? You think you gonna move me? Thanks no. for the super chat, bro. They understand what's best for business, sucker. But see, but see, see that's but see, but see, but see, ticket. That's this is the new way of doing things. We got to adapt. So you're right. He's not going nowhere. Instead, he dropped twenty five dollars so we could change the subject. This the well, new way of doing. Subject. Hey, let him change the subject. He's just socking it to my pocket. Let's go, Thanks, baby, brother. We appreciate you, brother. Oh God, <laughs> like, like, full speed rocket. 
pimp named Slickback said, under the radar move by the Heat gets them much needed scoring. Also, remember with the new CBA, teams over the second apron, Clippers, Warriors, Suns, Celtics, they can't, can't, can't sign buyouts who, may, who made over the minimum level exception in salary. Shaky no, no, no. move. Shaky move, Chill Town. It can it help good. and it can hurt. And I'm going to tell you why. Kyle Lowry is one of those dudes you don't value him until it's playoff time. His his veteran experience, his big shot making, his know how, his championship experience, and his locker room presence. Do Terry Rozier bring all those things? No, Terry Rozier can score the ball. He can get buckets. Still, town. Terry Rozier is a feisty guy. He can play defense. But do he bring the intent, the championship intangibles that when it was time, Caboose showed up? How many times have we seen with the Miami Heat the playoffs, Mars? Kyle Lowry hitting amazingly big threes that we didn't even think he could hit. Shots that we didn't even think he still had in him. Guy playing defense, making plays, doing certain things. To taking help turn taking the charges, the taking charges. Taking charges. Ah, they don't that understand. Stuff matters. That stuff matters. Listen, I'm trying yeah. to tell you. No, you spit. You spit. Now you spit. You spit. That stuff yourself. matters. That stuff I will matters. say this. I will say this, though, Ticket. I think this. Is better than what they was gonna do with Dame though. Because I agree. I agree. Because no, what, I what, agree that, with that. what all the, everything they was gonna have to give up to get Dame, to get Kyle to, to get to get Terry Rozier for a pick and Kyle Lowry instead instead of giving up Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, 15 first round picks, everything they was gonna have to give up Dame, this move is better, if you ask yeah. me. So Yo, Mars, and, and, can I hear how you feel about this move? Um it's a great move. Um, they get another shot creator, take the pressure off Jimmy and Tyler Hero. Um, another person you can go down, go to in the heat of games in the half court who can create his own shot, one of the better ball handlers in the league. Um, and you're not going to ask him to do too much outside of his comfort zone. He's not going to be asked to be the best playmaker on the team. You're not going to look to him for defense. You know, Spo runs the most zone in the league, so a guy like Terry Rozier can be hidden on that end so he can play in the playoffs. Um, I thought Miami were already contenders. I think this move now they're officially in the bracket of Philly, Miami, Philly, Boston, and Milwaukee. In my opinion, I don't think they're outside contenders. I think this makes them in that top four group easily. Sure, absolutely. And on top you, of that, keep going, Ron. I'm sorry, keep no, going, Ron. I, I was just going to ask, but I still want you to answer to say that what you were about to uh, say, what you were about to say, chill, and also answer this question. Do you think uh -huh. he was worth the first round pick and Kyle Lowry? I do. I think he was worth the first round pick because if you think about what Miami was going to have to give up, considering where they are, what are they fourth in the East right now? So if they're fourth in the East, that first round pick, I don't, I don't know, Ron. Let's just say in 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 two years, with the twenty second pick in the twenty twenty six NBA draft, the I don't know, Charlotte Bobcats get Terry Rozier. I mean, I'll take Terry Rozier in in late in the first round two years from now. Absolutely, one hundred percent, I'll do that. Plus the fact that. I mean, you guys are looking at it from a basketball stance, which I do think that he fits with them because they do need a guy that's gonna get, that can get them buckets and another scorer. I do like that. But I also like the fact that this frees up some money, too. This is a salary dump. Kyle Lowry comes off the books after this year. And on, on top of him coming off the books after this year, I don't think Miami's done. I think this frees up some money where they can now maybe even move into, maybe even move into getting somebody else by the trade deadline. So who, I, think who, this who is a good, I, I think this is a good trade for them. Who can they get, you? I think that I, they I mean, can get them. I, I think they can get themselves another rebounder because I think that they need that. I, I, as I think with Terry, I think with Terry Rozier, with Terry Rozier and Jimmy Butler, with Bam. Now I think that that gives them scoring. I think they need another dirty work guy that's in there to help them. And, and if they could get that on the cheap, I think that that moves them even further into where they're trying to go. Daniel Jimmy Gafford. is Jimmy is Jimmy Grant available? Oh, Daniel Gafford, that's fire, Mars. Because I, I heard what I seen I seen Washington. The only person they say is untouchable is Bilal Kulabali. So if they're willing to get off a guy like Daniel Gafford for a pick or something, that's a man. Mars, 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 you a smart boy because I, I agree fire. that will push that will push Bam to the four. I put Gafford at the five. That makes your defense in the post. If you get back to the finals, that extremely helps you with Jokic a little bit more around mm -hmm. the post. It gives you more athleticism. And, and it helps give a, what you call it a backup, a bam, a backup at the basket. If, if Jokic is on the perimeter and beats him, you still got a shot blocker at the basket. I like that thought, Mars. And and again, Chill Town, you say you like the move for a first round pick. I don't like it for a first round pick. And the reason why, how many years do Terry Rozier got left on his deal? Two more years on his deal. Right. And so here's the thing. Do see, I agree with Bob. I like Rozier better than I like Dame with them. But that's with Kyle Lowry on the team. Kyle Lowry is the, is the calm to Dame Storm. 
So mm-hmm. Dame's messing up. Kyle Lowry can get in there, calm it down, sell it down. Now they don't have that at the point. Now you're asking Jimmy if things don't go right to hop back on the point. And that's really what t- wears Jimmy down when they get deep into the playoffs. Right. To me, I haven't seen Terry Rozier do it. He's played a lot of losing basketball these last few years. So I don't. What is he gonna? What is he gonna right. be he, like? He was on the Hornets in his defense sticker. He was on. Yeah, the yeah, no, no, I'm saying, but no, when, when, no, he, when, no, when he was with Boston, for the Celtics. He also to say when he when he was with Boston, he was playing listen, great. I think. Pete, Pete, what I said though, mm-hmm. I said the last few years he's been playing right, losing right, basketball. Right. Sometimes when you're in that mindset and you've just been playing losing basketball, you you picked up bad habits. You understand what I'm saying? Because you've been playing with a bad team. So my thing is, is this. Does he pre- provide? Will he provide the t- intangibles that Kyle Lowry provided that really helped the Heat team? I think so. I think well, we, so. We, we, you got you got to remember. You got to remember. It's 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 in Terry's DNA. Terry, Terry Terry was at Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Terry, Terry was in Louisville. Terry was at Terry was in Boston for a while playing playing really good basketball. Right. Really good basketball. That's all. That's why I was in the comments saying yesterday, man, y'all be too dramatic with this shit. It's not t- like, but, like Singoon, no, like Singoon, 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 Singoon was overseas. He Singoon came to the NBA dope. And then y'all, y'all said that Silas was gonna ruin him. Now I don't want to get too far into that because that was yesterday. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to backtrack. But I'm just saying, Terry is a winner. Terry, Terry, Terry wants to win basketball games. I don't think I don't think going to Charlotte is gonna is gonna change that mind. I think he's happy to be in Miami, happy to be uh, in. And I know y'all know everybody. I'm not I'm not I'm not just talking to y'all on the. I'm talking to everybody. I know everybody doesn't believe in Heat culture, but that's what it is, man. Pat, Pat Riley Pat Riley got Terry Rozier over there for a reason. It's it's which scary did, well, beach. Which, it's which, scary which, which he, beach. Absolutely, I, I I won't argue that big ox. But the difference is is and what Ticket is arguing, which I completely agree with. The stuff that Kyle Lowry brought, like 15, 16 years, going deep into the playoffs, playing mm-hmm. deep, and Terry Rozier hasn't seen that. I can appreciate you having intangibles. You don't have those intangibles though, and it's going to be hard to replace that with a young guy who's never really been. Don't get me wrong, Terry Rozier was in the Eastern Conference Championship, but he but came. On, what, the, he, what happened, Shieldtown? What did he do? He fell short. He played horrible down the stretch in that in that series. He they played bad the, down the, the stretch the, in that series. But the point the point that I'm making with that is the fact that Kyle Lowry has been in the playoffs deep into the playoffs for years. And that's a huge thing to have on a vet crew. Now, a guy like Terry Rozier, who's going to bring them buckets, which is what they need. Miami last year, which is the NBA Finals, they had the worst offense in the league. I think I believe they was at the bottom of the league in offense. This season also, I believe they're at the bottom of the league again in offense. He's going to help them offensively in terms of his buckets. Another ball handler, another guy who can score the basketball. That's going to help 100%. But that stuff that's in between, that's stuff that when we get into the meat and potatoes of the game and the game gets helped to skelter, just like I feel about Phoenix, when the game needs to get slowed down, when we need to get guys in order, it's not just going to be Jimmy. A guy like Terry Rozier, can he provide what Kyle Lowry provided on that stage on a consistent basis? Well, we haven't seen it in years because he's been in Charlotte, and I think mm-hmm. that's the difference. And I still have to see it with him being in, with mm-hmm. him being in Miami. Ron, do you I, I, and Mars, do you and Ron trust me? You, you do, trust me? Do I, tr- do I trust you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Mars, you trust me? Hey, take it. I trust you with all my no, heart. Ma- Ma- hold on, Mars. Do you trust me, Mars? To do what? No, no. Do you trust me in general? Do you trust me? Period. No. Okay, cool. You don't trust me? Okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> well, hey, Mars, no, check it out. Follow me now. Just think, mm-hmm. right? So I want to say, so I want to bring something to the table real quick, Ron. Um, it's, it's funny to me how there's no back-to-back and... Um, LeBron James is not going to play against the Clippers tonight. Mm. Now, the Los Angeles Lakers, you trust me now, don't you, Mars? You, you trust me now, you little, you, little, you little rascal. You trust me now. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, it, it's funny to me that LeBron James is not going to play in this game. So, LeBron is not going to play against the Clippers tonight. Chill town. Yo, King, not coming off a of back-to-back, faking an ankle injury after D-Lo threw the alley who passed off the ground to him. He dunked it, did the high five, all the other stuff, D-Lo crying on the bench. But now he's trying to win games. You're tied with the Utah Jazz. You're in the play-in. You have a big game against the Clippers tonight, and he's load managing. But this is your king. This is the type of gimmicks and shenanigans that LeBron James pulls off. This is the type of stuff he does when he doesn't get his way and wants to trade. Ticket, so he stop, wants the Lakers not, to lose. Stop it with he the wants logic. The Ticket, to lose stop it. So the team Ticket, will trade him. He stop wants it. the Lakers it's to lose. Knock it he off. He wants Ticket. the Lakers to lose. Now, Mars, oh. you know I'm not lying, Mars. Oh. He's Ron, 50, you bro. know he's I'm not 50. lying. I don't know what Bob, Bob what do you like mean, to do. What do you mean he wants the Lakers to lose? If he, he wanted to lose, so they can make a trade. 
if because he wanted they to, win, if, if, if they he win, wanted he to make no trade, this is ridiculous, Ron. If they win, if he, he can't make no trade. If he wanted to trade him, if he, he wanted to no trade him, trade. big ox. I'm sorry, Ron, chill. Ron, I'm there's sorry, a ticket. Ticket. No, 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 yeah, no, no. I'm Ron. sorry, chill. Ticket. I'm sorry. Your Highness yes. Charles said we're not doing it, Mars. <laughs> Change the topic. Me, Read the super chat. Enough of this. Do you trust me, baby? Mars, do you trust me now, boy? Do you trust me now, Mars? Hey, super chats, man. Mars, I'm the best at this, baby. Mars, Mars Blackman, I am the best at this thing, baby. Yo, and by the way, um, that super chat leads us to the next super chat by none other than your Highness Charles. He said 24 players in the MLB have thrown a perfect game. 26 quarterbacks have thrown for 500 yards in a game. Nine players in NBA history have dropped 70 in a game. It's definitely not an easy feat or fate. Hate is sick. How would you know? Looking at you, you we don't even put this picture back up there. Did you ever even, you don't even look like you played bad. You look like you was a reporter for Res, respect, 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 respect King Charles? Isn't that the, yeah, is it that the, yeah, dude, the hey, that's the, that's the King Charles, man. Yeah. Man, King Let's Charles, the was, King. Like a, King Charles yeah. was like a low budget rush. Hey, you don't know about King Charles. He was hooping in the 30s, man. He was hooping. King Charles, man. Hey, Mars, did he really used to hoop? Yeah, he used to hoop. He used to hoop. Then, then the league got a bit too melanated for him, so he had to give up his two dreams. It's unfortunate. There was. Are you trolling me, Mars? You say it's about Mars, answer that correctly because it's only Tuesday. Crazy, Mars. It's only Tuesday. Hey, hey, Mars, you, you, uh, had, you had me invested, Mars. That's crazy. Hey, no, Tim ain't flip back. Tim ain't flip back. I ain't been in the NBA, but I've been closer to you. So shut your mouth. It's superiority. I'm over you. So you be quiet. <laughs> Big Ox, to, to 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 your point, when I'm looking at what Joel Embiid did yesterday, of course, you know, there's some people who will scoff at it. But, yo, 70 in a, in a pro basketball game. Again, Big Ox, this isn't playing against, you know, grade school kids. This isn't playing against suburbia high school. It's the NBA, right? Mm -hmm. And let's not forget, the dude he went up against did put 33 on him. It's not like, oh, since, since we're on that subject, it's not like the dude, it's not like the dude he played against, he completely <laughs> destroyed him. He did put 33 on him, and he did body him. Hold right? on, chill, fam. We got to clear the room. Top left is here. What's up, baby? I What's knew up? you was going to come up when I was saying something about Joel Embiid. I knew you was going to come up from all that capping in the comment section. Let's go. What's up, <laughs> dog? No, no, no. First off, ticket my electricity was out, so I didn't have any Wi-Fi. Ooh. It's 630 here. They said it wasn't going to come back on the 8, but I begged God in the comments, please, if you do this one thing for me, I'll give up certain things. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> but one of those things was not cooking you. Everything that you said about Embiid Let's was go. cap and you kept – Bringing up Kenyon Martin as if he's just some just some so, NBA panelist number month. one overall pick. <laughs> no, number, no, been no, to no, the NBA no. finals. Been to the I, NBA I finals care. multiple I, times. I don't. I don't. That doesn't make his takes better than yours, Mars, I didn't say that, Oxen, but Kills but Ron, or anybody's in the chat. Stop going to him. I want to hear it from you, Ticket. Why I, don't I you like him? Beats. Well, okay, I, I heard it so, because so let you're me ask comparing you a question, it. Then, Chad. Let me ask you a question, Top Left. You were you impressed with that seventy? I was. Yeah, <laughs> it, it wasn't know, like see? Ron. This is why no, I'm no. the best at this. I, I wasn't. This is why I wasn't. I'm, not, I'm no, 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 no. I was. Hey, I'm impressed by Embiid's Embiid's body of work over the last month. That's what I'm impressed by. What, what, what is, is there not to be impressed by? Now see, this is why he now, this is where off with a seventy point you, performance. Since you just said that, since you said that, why are we judging a MVP over regular season games now? When he's choked in the postseason the last few years because he's been hurt or whatever, shouldn't we be worried it, only about you. the postseason I'm, with Joel and B? I'm, I'm, I'm you talking with, about I'm you're impressed you. by a 100%. month in the regular season and we and we ain't even in February or March, but you impressed by that? I want to be impressed. If we, with Joel if we apply in the that playoff. logic, if we apply that a logic to everybody who loses in the playoff, we get nowhere. Everybody's trash. Then we can't take anything to, in the regular they did it to season Giannis, right? seriously. They did it to of Giannis, course, right? No. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I don't. I don't use that logic of oh, we can't. He he's not killing right now. Ticket is that what you're saying? No, he's I'm not saying, entertaining. Oh, no, no, no. Us. I'm saying. I'm saying, Shaq. They strip. Remember, Joel Embiid is probably unless he misses the games, he's probably gonna win a second MVP this year. Okay, cool. As he remember, should. Now hold on. Now remember what they did to Giannis when Giannis won a second MVP. They you had NBA players like Perkins and all these dudes go on TV and say. He can't win no more MVPs unless he win a chip. He won the chip, and they still refuse to vote this man for MVPs in the NBA, right? And I was After not that. one of those guys, and I don't care what Perkins so, no, has no. to so, say on ESPN. So, but listen to what I'm saying. 
Shouldn't we hold that accountable because we did the same thing to Jokic? Jokic no, lost no, the let, MVP. Let's just, throw it, let's just throw it out the window. We don't even have to bring that up. Let's just talk about what's happening right now. Is Joel Embiid the MVP right now? No, no, no. Hold on. Did you think Jokic should have won the MVP last year or Embiid? Yes. Because you said reigning MVP. Yes, Who Jokic. Jokic. Okay, so you don't even think that Joel Embiid is the reigning no. MVP then? I don't. Cook Let's again. get with the times. Let's Cook get with the again. times. The same. The what? same. He, that, he, he, don't no, no, no. he don't need no help. No. He don't need no help. Sit down. He don't need no help. I, I, That's a grown I don't, man. I don't. That's a grown man. Ticket, That's you need the help. I, I think that you need the help. Ticket, what you're saying right now is incredible. Does, MB, does, does MB deserve MVP right now? I, I think the MVP is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, no, 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 no. Cooked. 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 I think the MVP is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Right now. I'm, I think fair. the MVP is Giannis. I'm gonna tell you why right now. I, I, I'm gonna tell you why right now. Giannis is the MVP. First of all, he's playing with a point guard who makes their team worse because the dude don't play no defense and he's he's torpedoed the whole team defensively because you gave away your best defensive asset for a guy who plays no defense and now you're out here struggling to beat the Pistons. Second of all, I believe that 85% of the games they won this season was off the strength of Giannis Antetokounmpo being as great as he is because the team looks horrible. They don't even look nowhere near the same team they were the last year collectively as a team. I credit most of that to, uh, to Giannis Antetokounmpo. The third thing is, look at his percentages. He's having a historically all-time great season. His average went up from last year. He's averaging 31 and a half points this year. He's up there in rebounds. He's up there in assists. He's one of the he's, I think he's the best one-on-one -on -one defender in the league percentage-wise as far as guarding his opponent. His opponent has the lowest percent field goal percentage against him in the NBA right now. And he's been there for a few years. He's done that a couple of years in a row. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is, is based off that. And the fact that Joel Embiid has a better team, he has more guys around him who are more seasoned and better at this point right now. Man, we can say, am I, say the same thing am about, I lying? We, we, how many guys? How many guys? Philly no, got no, 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 you're yo, not lying. But we yo. can say the same thing about Joe. We can say the exact same three. thing about Joe. No, well, hold three. on. How about Joker when Jamal Murray <laughs> been hurt most of the season? How about Joker when when Aaron Gordon's been hurt most of the season? And, and, and I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up with with, with Aaron Gordon and Joker been and Aaron Gordon and, and Jamal Murray been hurt most of the season. Where are the Denver Nuggets right now in the standings? Right, hold on. I'm with you. Come on. And and, and, and but no, I'm, no, you're not with but me. You're clearly better, not with me. And you're clearly not with me because if you were with me, you would recognize I'm where they are right better, now. Right. Right. No, I'm saying, the better. Bucks are, hold on. The Bucks are better than the, the Bucks are better than the Nuggets right now, right? No, I don't think so. They, who, both, who's they, the they, the they both have 30 wins. It's just they both got the same amount of wins, but no, I don't but think who, so. Who has no. more losses, Mark? Even Mark? The, Milwaukee's 30 and 13, Denver are 30 and 14. I win again. So what? So I one win? win? One win? Is that I one, one, I one loss? Down. I don't one down. loss? Are you kidding me right now, Mark? I don't care if it's about an inch, chill. I don't care if it's about a foot, an inch, a centimeter, a millimeter, a gazillimeter. I won. I won. Joel, like you just mentioned. I can accept. I can accept what Joel Embiid has been doing, and sure, I'm not out. I'm I'm not in on Joel Embiid in the playoffs because I haven't seen it. But I can still marvel at what he's been doing. I can still recognize how awesome he is. The dude scored sixty. The dude scored seventy points in a game. That's only happened. That, that's only happened what? This the this the fourth time that's happened in my lifetime. Not in NBA history. Just in my lifetime. So we're talking about a guy in Joel Embiid who is the reigning league MVP, who's playing great right now, who's been dominant. Absolutely. I do have to see it in the postseason, and I got to see it translate in the postseason. Sure, I have to see that, but I can still marvel at how awesome he's been in the mid-range, in the mid-post, how different the offense is, which Nick Nurse has done to make him better, looking at him playing on the elbow and seeing him fire that ball right to Maxi when Maxi's moving toward the basket, which Doc Rivers wasn't doing. Doc Rivers was not having this kind of offense going on, going on when Joel and B, him and Joel and B were together. He changed that offense and made Joel and B a better offensive player. However, Joker's been doing this. That team goes as Joker goes in terms, not the just Buffalo in terms of Giannis Buffalo. goes. Not, not, not. Okay, just so take it. If Gian, if Giannis doesn't win MVP, or if he, um, you say that if he wins MVP, but he somehow gets knocked out in the second round. What will you say this summer or next season about no, Giannis? No, 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 will no, we no, be no. able to run no, no, this no. back? Hold, hold, hold on. Listen to what I said. Before Giannis had won a championship, he won two MVPs, right or wrong, Mars? In a row. Right, in a row. They said until he win the chip, we don't want to talk about he ain't an MVP no more. We don't care what else he do. So they discounted every other thing he did because his team lost in the playoffs. I all don't think anybody disagreed that he was all time. Like, we're comparing him. 
Hold on, let's, let's be to honest. all time Mar- players. That's Mar- what was Mar- happening. Mar- 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 it wasn't against his peers. Mar- hold on, it wasn't Mar- against Mar- his peers. Mar- that Mar- argument Mar- doesn't matter. If Mar- he's playing Mar- like the best player in the world at that time, he's the best player in the world. Chat, we're not comparing him to the all time greats with that. Mars, you know this too. Chat, last year when me and Mars got into it, Mars was on my helmet because I held the same thing against Jokic. And Mars was like, you guys are delusional. You're delusional because I held it the same way they held it against Giannis. I said, yo, chill. Jokic can't win no more unless he delivered the goods. So that's and that was the content that was the consentment in the media too. What did Jokic do? He went and won a championship. So now that's off the table, right? So now look, now check this out. With MB. He's already won the MVP now because he got handed the MVP. You don't even believe he won that MVP fair and square. So now this year, we saw him get stolen the MVP last year. He comes back this year. We've seen the playoff drop the last two or three years in a row. We've seen him fall off a cliff in the playoffs. How are we giving this man credit for beating one of the worst teams in the NBA? Ticket with that narrative, you're right. You're right. I can't argue against that narrative. That's what you think, then that's fine. But right now he's doing more for his team as an individual than Giannis is for the Bucks, And they're, at, and they're deadlocked I in totally the East. I totally disagree. I totally disagree, bro. I totally they disagree. have the same I exact totally stats, and he's averaging record, five more points. Who got a better record? He, it, it, it's the same. They play one no, less who game. Got a, who, who's home? It's who's the same exact place record. Right now, the, the, who got a, who's it's the same place, bro? Nah, it's, it's the same. It's one game. It's one game. It is one game. Hold on, but Mars, am I winning or not, Ron? Mars, if we was to stop today, would I be winning or no? About one game, that's yeah. correct. Oh, no, right. no, you won again. You won again. It's off again because they really Mark. haven't played as they many have games. Up, they, have they haven't played, played the same play amount the game. of games. Yeah, they haven't they played have the same play game. I don't care. Why hey, would they on. stop? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, why would they stop? Why would they stop? Hold on, hold on. Some teams are going to play 83 games this year. What are you talking about? Some teams are going to play 82. Look at that count. Are you kidding me? It does you are count. nuts. What, what, what's on. going it on right now? Hold on, hold on. What is happening? Go down, down for your blood pressure go up. It I does count. Some teams going to play 83 games this year, and it counts, sucker. Some teams Why? Play Why are they going to play 83 games, Ticket? Why? The, the, because the, of the, the in-season tournament. tournament. The, the, oh, the, yeah, the in-season not, tournament. So if I'm not mistaken, the Lakers, who were in the in-season tournament championship game, if I'm not mistaken, did that game count, Ticket? You said what? The Lakers played in the in-season tournament championship game. Right. Did that game count, Ticket? No, all those games count. So shut up about all the game count, count. Ticket. Hold on. What are you talking about? Games, bro, what are no, you talking about? Fancy. Let's Hold get on. back. Let, let, wait, wait, wait. We're Real getting fancy. off the subject here. Let's get back. Let's get back to Joel Embiid. Nobody Shoot. said anything about him beating the San Antonio Spurs. That's a that's a byproduct. We're talking about right now Joel Embiid going for 70, which is the only thing that's happened this season. Nobody else has done that this season except Joel Embiid. Nobody. Joel Embiid, as good as he's been, sure, we got to see it in the postseason. But I, I'll be damned if I'm not going to be able to marvel at a guy going for 70. Shaq and plays in the top league. Shaq I'll plays in the top league. If he 20. goes to the YMCA right now and drops 70, you impressed? Hell yeah. Man, get the hell out of here, man. I don't care. 70 or 70 Jeez. anywhere. I, I don't know how many times I got to tell you. If you drop 70 against one of my kids, I'm going to be impressed. And Shaq, I'm disappointed awesome. in Shaq. I'm disappointed <laughs> in you chill town for pushing. What the hell are you talking about, Ticket? 70 is a big bro. deal, man. Y'all what are you sad, doing? Man. You guys Yo, I got, I got more here, super man. chats, y'all. So let's go it's ahead and do wrong. this. Drink More Water said, couldn't catch, couldn't catch the show live, but I watched it. Chill. Can you give a logical reason why Bill, why Bill, why the Bill move is a B minus, but Dame move is a C, even though Milwaukee has a has been better and Bills missed 24 games. Well, hmm. Bill, the reason why they brought Bill in was they brought Bill in to be that third scorer. Bill's been out of the lineup. And with Bill being out of the lineup, they could be much better. As good as they are, they could be much better if he was in the lineup. Dame has actually been in the lineup. And they haven't been better because of him. They've been better because of Giannis. There you go. Drink more water. Uh, Drip Bayless said... Can y'all do a quick coaches tier list? I'm really interested to see how many coaches will be ranked above him. Ain't no, uh, no, not a lot. But I tell you one thing, I got, I got a bone to pick with that chump Mars, and, and we can continue our beef, chump. Since if you want beef, I know what it is. I put it on the stove, uh, Mars. Oh. So your little, your little chump of a coach, uh, uh, Monty uh, Williams, uh, lost again last night, but still running out here, them same big men. Uh, one again, I'm gonna say this right now. If you guys are saying these big men are so much better than than the guys that we talking about, like that I said with uh, James Wiseman, though, 
Why he can't get no wins? Why he can't win no games with these bigs? Shouldn't you try something different? How many more games are you going to lose going with these same big men that you're saying, oh, these guys are better than him, bro? No, I need to see it. Once I get to a certain point, I need to see, okay, it's the guys that's in the, it has to be the guys in the lineup. If it's not coaching, it's the guys in the lineup that's causing the issue. So to me, if I'm Monty Williams, wouldn't it behoove me to say, you know what? Let me go ahead and start James Wiseman and give him a fair shot to see how the team fares out. We've lost damn near 95% of our games with them on the bench and then gave them a DMP coach's decision again last night. You did this, Mars. You are the little rascal that did this. Monty Williams heard you and won't even give the man a minute now to prove a point. You're disgusting, brother. If I have that much of an impact on an NBA head coach, an NBA team needs to hire me. If I have that much of an impact on an NBA Why, head coach, What are you doing here with us, Mars? I, I need to be hired NBA? by an NBA team, clearly. But... <laughs> Um, Mike Muscala wasn't on the team a week ago and he's been playing, so they did try something. Mike Muscala's playing, that, that's the new and they track. still lost. That's my point. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah Stewart is now coming off the bench, they're trying new things. So, just because they aren't trying James Wiseman doesn't mean they they're trying hold on, Mars, every other combination they've tried, they've lost with bro. So, when we talk about coaching, yeah. when we talk about coaching, is it is it I can only put like five coaches over, bro, bro, bro? So, so they so real, so real quick, yeah. ticket Missoula, yes or no. Hell no! So no Missoula. How about how about Griffin? Hell no! Okay, how about how about Nurse? Yeah. Okay, how about Bickerstaff? Hell no! Oh my God! How, how, uh, Tibbs. Uh, yeah. Uh, Spo. Yeah. Rick Carlisle. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, the, the guy that I'm thinking. Uh, Mosley in Orlando. No. Uh, Quinn Snyder in Atlanta. No. Hell no. Jacques Vaughn. Hell no. Uh, the, the guy in Toronto, right? right? Jogovic? Is that his name? Hell I don't know no. Okay. So the, so the guy in Charlotte. Nope. So the, uh, um, Wes Unsell in Washington. Hell no. He had the body, he, he's towards the bottom of the list. Okay. And, 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 and Monty Williams. <laughs> Come on, bro. Man lost 20 okay. games. Okay, so that's three Mike coaches. Brown. So, so that's hold on, hold on, hold on, big ox. So that's three coaches in the East, right? That's that's right, that's right. three coaches in the East. Right. So I right, how, how about Chris Finch? That's the guy from Minnesota. Um, I put him on the same level as DM. Okay, so the same level. Uh, I I, I got to make sure. It's a couple guys right. I got on the same level as DM. I got him. I got the guy. Mike hold, hold on, take it. Hold on, hold on, take it. The guy from Oklahoma City, Diag Diagno. 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 He's on the same level as Mike. I mean, excuse okay. me, as, as Darvin Ham. I got him on the same level as Darvin Ham. I got him. How about my, go ahead. Go ahead, Chill. How about how about Mike Malone? You got me there. Okay, Mike Malone. How about Ty Lue? No. How about Willie Green? Um that's the, that's the guy in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. No. No, I can't do it with No, you're not going with him. How about Vogel in Phoenix? Hell no. How about Bullethead in Sacramento? Same level. Uh, how about um, Jason Kidd? Uh, no, Jason Kidd been overrated, bro. Okay, so no for Jason Kidd. How about uh, Hardy in uh, in Utah? No. Same um, same level, same level. How about Ime in Houston? Damn, man, I hate you, Chill Town. You okay. Rat, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how about Kerr in uh, Golden State? No. He no Kerr. No, no, no Kerr in Golden State. He getting exposed. Okay. How about Jenkins in Memphis? Um, no, hell no. Okay. How about Chauncey in Portland? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. So in, in Pop. Hell no. Pop been a complete fraud this season. They lost me a thousand dollars. He lost me a thousand dollars for that Chauncey. Yeah. I should have him out of so, so, with all, so with all of that being said, as of today, Mars, it's January the 23rd, 2024. Uh, Darvin Ham is arguably a top five coach in the NBA. Yeah, hold on. But Chill Town, check it out. Chill Town. But he did win the conference championship first. He I mean, went to the conference championship. championship. You know, other coach the, did that. That's he correct. did. He did. He did. When, when y'all said the roster was bad, remember they all said the roster was horrible that they gave him last year. But well, when mm -hmm. they turned the roster over, he had the best team in the league. Can't take that away from him. Second half of the season. Had the best defense and the best team in the league. Can't take that away from him. Right. And he was in the final four. Can't take that away from him. Nope. And the rest of this season is yet to be told. So once again, ticket wins. 
and to your point, ticket, and, and to your point, ticket, just a couple of just I believe it was this week. If it, if it wasn't this week, then it was at least last week. It's right. the first time that starting lineup that was in the Western Conference Championship, it's the first time they've been together all season. They right. haven't been you know together. Well, he's, had, he's had, but see, here's the thing with Darvin Ham. He's had a lot of injuries this year. They had guys that's been out. The dude that they got from Miami, he's only played five games. Dave Vincent, Roy right? Roy Moore, who's big right. for them, he's been out of the lineup half the season this year. Mm. Then what you call it spent most of the first half of the season out of Vanderbilt. He Vanderbilt out here looking like goddamn Brutus the Barber beefcake out there. He don't put on too much weight. Mm -hmm. Then you got um uh they just had a lot of injuries this year, man. A lot of injuries to guys, man. So I, I count that. But uh, again, Darvin Hammer showed me Chill Town when when you're consistent as far as on the court and playing, Darvin Ham win games, bro. Darvin Yo. Ham is like a 53% win percentage with the Lakers as the head coach. I do want to say that we will be getting into this coach's tier list because I'm mm -hmm. dying to see how it's going to pan out. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the meantime, we got a couple more super chats, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to those. Uh, Kwabe said ticket average is nine points overseas, saying an NBA player scoring seventy oh, hold on, isn't about, valid. You talking about my last year? You talking about oh, in year sixteen? Hold on. You talking oh. about in year sixteen? Come on, come on, come on. I'll put my stats on the screen right now. Oh, you, how much money you got, Kwabe? <laughs> We can go to Eurobasket right now. I put my whole stats on my whole career on the, on the screen right now. We can go to Eurobasket.com right now. I got the I actually got the pass to where you can log in. So however much money you got, we can put that money up right now. You, we're gonna dispel that lie. Anyway, let us let us let us know how much bread you got. Yeah, yeah. Hey Ron, hey Ron, uh, hey Ron, I'm dead serious about that. Tell that boy how much money he got right now, and I'll give you the passcode, Ron. You can go on, on Eurobasket.com where all the registry for all the professional players is. Bob knows this is true. Where well, they got all your official stats, they'll pull it up on the screen. They'll see. You know, when he see them averaging 27, 28, 30 a game with around 10, 11, 12, 13 rebounds, he's going to shut his – I ain't going to say that word. He's going to shut his mouth. Well, there you go, Kwape. Uh, T Nose Ball said, man, forget about Embiid. Let's talk about JB and JT. Killed Luka last night. Y'all been disrespecting the Jays. Oh, and by the way, Ticket, JT and JB top three all time in duo scoring 30-plus in the same – game now with that with, with that with that be absolutely with that being said what i saw last night mars was i saw jalen brown close the game and i saw jason tatum ice the game that's what i saw i saw them hunt luca in the meat and potatoes of the game i saw them go after luca with jalen brown in the process of them going after luca i saw jalen brown just just straight bodying him getting him in the mid post getting him in the mid range making him defend i thought that they did a great job and i haven't i haven't really seen Missoula coach like this, but I thought that he did a great job in getting switch in action to get Luca on the Jalen Brown and get Jalen Brown where he's the most effective, which is on that right wing or on that left elbow. That's where he is the most effective. And he got him in that area and he just basically went after Luca. I think that was the game. And on top of that, Jason Tatum iced the game with free throws. No, nah, Jalen Brown sucks. He Jalen Brown sucks. He can't go left. Straight iced the game last night, so I was I was definitely impressed with that. Yes, I was. I was impressed Boston with that. They're a better team than Dallas. Yes, Boston yes, they are. Yeah, one hundred percent, they are. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Uh, I do want to say so. Both of the Jays got off last night, but also too, Luca went ballistic too. He was one of the other monster performances that was turned in last yeah. night. Had thirty three points, eighteen rebounds, and thirteen assists. Um, any thoughts on this? No, man. missed a lot of. Did old boy money. get that money yet, Ron? He missed a lot of bunnies around the basket. Yes, hey, he chill. Did, did old boy get that money yet? I don't think so. If he did, he would be here. So yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, here I'm, we I'm, go. Kwabe said, "If you so confident, put the stats up." Okay, Kwabe, good. Ron, how much money? How much money right now? I'm gonna send it to you right now. Okay, looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much money he got? How much money he said, Ron? He didn't say nothing. He said, "If you just confident, put the stats up." Hey, I do, no, no, I do, I do want to say this though, ticket, because I, I know, I already, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to even, you know, get into your, your hoop game. We know, we know you were certified hooper. I just want to make sure people understand: nine points in certain overseas league is way different than nine points in certain leagues. You know what I'm saying, and I know, I know and you yes, average, I, I know, I, especially your last year playing. I know you average more than that in other seasons. You know what I'm saying, I'm just talking about in that specific season in different leagues, like. It's a lot. It's a lot different. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's all. That's all. Anyway, to, uh, to, answer, to answer your question, I'm sorry. We had a, a super chat. Put that super chat back up like you just had him. I, I apologize. 
uh be true 23 said buyout market will be interesting for miami most likely options i believe are pj tucker gordon hayward and robert covington oh covington would be nice i love covington in miami mm. yes yeah. you guys think covington is going to be bought out um based on these options i don't i don't i don't pay attention to the buyout market really but covington is available that'd be very nice for him better than gordon hayward I think so. Hey, Ron. Up, I'm about to send you this. I'm about to send better, you this message right now. Better, better option than Gordon Hayward, 100. And to answer your question, Ron, Luca missed a lot of bunnies around the basket. Luca is just so difficult to stop downhill because he's got that he's got that slow game, that methodical game. Like Luca's not blowing you away with his athleticism, but I thought they did a good job in making it hard on him around the basket. Let's let's not be let, let's not be blown away by the state. He took 30 shots last night. Let's make sure we clear on that. Of the 33 points, he did take 30 shots last night. And he was around the basket getting harassed. Yes, he was. He was around the basket getting harassed. So that was that was a problem for him. They tried to make a comeback, too, Luka and, uh, and the Mavericks. They made a late game push, but it just wasn't really quite enough. Uh, yep. JT and JB were just getting to it. But that's what's up. The Celtics didn't have uh, Porzingis last night either, so they pulled it off without Porzingis. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, JT had 39 and 11. Jalen Brown had 34, for a couple assists, a couple rebounds, a couple blocks. You don't have to run. Jalen Brown sucks. He can't go left. Okay. I'll remember that next time I decide to say his stats. I won't even mention it. Uh, MP13 said, anyone notice the pattern of winning two MVPs, then winning a chip the following year? Giannis won in 19 and 20 then won a chip. Jokic won in 21 and 22, then they won. Now Embiid is about to win his back-to-back -back MVPs, and the 76ers are one piece away. <laughs> what piece is that? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know who the piece is, but yeah, that, that's been happening for a little while. Yeah. Mm. Do y'all so think the Sixers can win it this year? I think they can. I don't think they will, but I think they can. The Just Sixers funny, absolutely have good. everything it takes to win a championship. They have everything it takes. They got the dirty work guys. They got a secondary score. They got a third option, a reliable third option to Tobias, Tobias? Harris. Okay. Yeah, they, they, got a, they got a solid um, bench. They got a great coach. They have a top solid player in the National it? Basketball Association. Yeah, they got a solid bench. They got Patrick Beverly coming off the bench. They got uh, <clears throat> who else they got coming off the bench? They got it. They got they got Paul, oh, Reed. Paul Reed. Paul Reed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You know they they, they, hey, they chill. Got chill. You see, see you see what he's setting he setting himself up for again. <laughs> chill. This is about to be like year six. He's done this hey. to himself. This is what chill, I'm saying. Last, year, six last six year he said he was done. He said he was done last <laughs> the 76ers year. Seventy sixers keep giving me. They keep giving me. Now, if any if anybody's full is gold, it's the 76ers. They keep giving me something that looks so appealing. It's sparkly. It's shiny. Hey, y'all seen Aladdin? Remember when Abu was in the Cave of Wonders and he seen the big ruby and his eyes lit up? That's what I see when I see the 76ers and I see Joel and B. Hey, now, Ron. Now, Ron. What's up? What's up? I just uh, sent Ron, you official I think, stats. I think we're the only ones that still watch Disney. Disney. I just Disney. sent you official stats from not only Eurobasket but from FIBA. And if they don't believe me, they can go look up all the leagues I played in in Argentina, Venezuela, Korea, uh... Where else did I play? Venezuela, Korea, uh, 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 China, um, uh, 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 Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, Colombia, uh, Mexico. Uh, it, are you sure you want me to put this up? Bro, put it up right now. The one that has you averaging right seven points? Yeah, put it up right now. I sent all you right. all of them to your message. That's me right there. That's me who just sent... I sent yep. you as many as I can get right now. You can go to Eurobasket.com and put my name in the registry. If you if you pay your money, you can see the stats for any player that played professional basketball in the history of basketball. <laughs> NBA, NBA, overseas, you can check every league, every single team. Now, you tell that nigga, I said, put that money on the screen again, nigga. Now, put them stats up on the screen, Ron. My name is Christopher Moore. I ain't got nothing to hide. Put put it up on the screen. Right. Hold up right quick, because I got to send these to my uh, from my WhatsApp to my Telegram. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna, to we gonna check this right now at the front door. See what I'm saying? While we doing that, I'm gonna give y'all another super chat for us to talk about. Um, two buddy said, didn't ticket clown KD and Booker for running Monty Williams out of town and get and get Coach Vogel. So which is it? I guess KD was right to run that bad coach out of town using your own logic, right? Y'all was the one saying that the coach the money the Frank Vogel was trash two weeks ago. Make it make sense. Y'all were saying Frank Vogel was trash. That's just because people so reactionary, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's you know, what they were saying two weeks ago. Three weeks ago, they were saying 
Frank Vogel needs to be fired. He's trash. That's ridiculous. Man. And these comment sections. Mars saw it too over in the open gym comment sections when they were talking about the, the Suns. Frank Vogel doesn't know what he's doing. He's in over his head. He didn't know what he was doing with the Lakers. Even though he won a championship with the Lakers. Come on, man. Cut it out. Now, yeah, go ahead and put it on the screen, Ron. Go ahead and put it on the screen, Ron. And, Ron, huh? you can also go to FIBA.com. <laughs> you can also go to FIBA. Chill time. You can also go to FIBA.com, and you can get all the stats. What? You can get the stats, like I said, from Venezuela. You can get the stats from Argentina. You can get the stats from goddamn Dominican Republic. You can get the stats from motherfucking China. You can get the stats from goddamn Korea. You can get the stats from all over the fucking world, even from Europe. You go get the stats, nigga. They all up there. Now, chill town. Watch this little boy shut his goddamn mouth and make excuses when Ron put this on the screen. Go ahead, Ron. Will Hoffer said, should the Raptors pick up Lowry on a vet minimum? He can retire there and provide some vet experience on the bench. No, I don't definitely, know if he can, definitely. I, I don't, here's the thing, though, Big Ox. I don't know if they because if 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 Charlotte if Charlotte ends up buying him out, I don't know if they can. I don't, a, a part of the of the new CBA. I don't know if Miami can re-sign him. I'm not sure. No, from the Lakers, no, no it's not not Miami. Uh, Toronto. If I'm a veteran team that needs a vet a guy like that, Toronto, because remember he wants he wants to, he wants to retire. Oh, Kyle Lowry. I'm thinking about Miami. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, if yeah, I'm yeah. the Lakers, I go get him, chill town. If I'm the, if I need a veteran point guard that's a backup yeah, yeah, finals championship up. presence, I'll, I'll go get Kyle Lowry. If I'm that type of team, if I'm the Warriors, I go get a guy like Kyle Lowry as a as a backup point guard because CP3 is hurt. If I'm one of these teams that need a guy like that, that's a championship level team, I go get him. All right, y'all, keeping it pushing. Um, Kwabe said, in seventy points in the NBA different so he needs to respect the nba player man respect these okay i mean that's fair that's fair uh, i mean i could i could respect i because I, I, he was responding to what i said i mean i could respect both you know what i'm saying i'm just not with this no no no. you ain't respecting both. these bob you you just respect uh, no no i'm not talking about that i'm not talking yeah, about that yeah, I'm, about to say uh, yeah. I'm, I'm talking i'm just i'm just talking about just hoop in general i, I respect i respect basketball all around the world you know what i'm saying Shit, everybody right. hey everybody can't get to the nba you know what i'm saying Shit, everybody can't everybody get, can't get over things bob real. Hey, everybody can't. It's real. It's real. Shit, I, I, I wasn't over there for long at all. You know what I'm saying? Shit, most of my, most of my hoop was over here, and you know, semi pro leagues, uh, playing, play. I used to, you know, I used to play. Most of my, most of, most of, I made more money playing basketball, going to those tournaments in the summer, in the, in the fall, in the springtime. You know, like in the native tournaments, I played in a lot of those. But a lot of like overseas dudes, when they come home, they playing that. It's big, big money tournaments. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, I went played, to Dubai, I played a I lot of that. So I'm, so I'm saying is, I just respect, I respect basketball from from uh, you know I went all to over Dubai, the world. I made twenty G's everywhere. Weeks Dubai, bro. I know two weeks I made twenty G's in Dubai in a tournament, bro. So they don't <laughs> yeah, even know man. about that. Bro. Hey, it's, it's 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 hoopers. It's hoopers all over the world. It's cats you wouldn't even know they play basketball in different places, man. It's, it's real hoop going on out here. So I that's all I was trying to say is I respect it. I ain't really tripping off man, salute, anybody. Bob, Averages anywhere. I ain't tripping off with nobody mad anywhere, but it's it's good. Put up on the screen, Ron. Let's tell Kwabe to come up here and put up his moolah, his guape. Hey, Kwab, um, this is the first one that we're going to share. Remember, my name is Christopher Moore. You can look me up. All you got to do is go right there to the uh, Eurobasket or the FIBA.com. Look it up. Uh, As you can see. It's It's cut out. You can't see it on the bottom. Mm. On the bottom. 23 like your idol, LeBron James. Mm. Man, shut up, Marsh. I see it. <laughs> Y'all can see it? It's Nah, you got it covered up by the what you call it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got you. I nah, got Ron Perpin. I got you. Nah, Ron ain't Perpin. There you go. What what that say right there, right? That's 24 and 10. And that's we got 20, four and Chilltown. That's 24 we and 11. Four, we got four and Chilltown. That's with four Americans on the team. That's 24 and 11. That's what four Americans we got on the team. Go to the next one, Ron. These niggas is captain. See, I'm going I'm to end all the captain date. Go to the next one, Ron. That's 24 and 11. Here we go. Who lead the league in, who lead the league in rebounds, Chill Town? That's on Eurobasket.com. It's uh, 13 rebounds a game. Come on, let's keep going, Ron. Next. Mm-hmm. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Bear with in me. In my Bear interviews, it's hotter, nigga. Holla. Mm-hmm. Uh, keeping it lit. We got the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull oh, the next one up. This, Hold this on, now. That ain't the next well. one, Ron. That's the same one, Ron. Go to the next well. one, Ron. All they got to do is go to Eurobasket.com, pay your little whatever the fee is, so you can get into the registry of all the players. You can even look up Kobe Bryant, the late, great Bean Bryant. They got his whole resume up there. Or you can go to FIBA.com. Number five. Who was number five in the league in scoring, Ron? 
looks like more. Come on now. How many, how many points the game is at Chill Town? 25 a game. Hey, ticket, hey, ticket, that's that's me right up under you at number six. You seen the oh, Evans? No, 21? That, might <laughs> <laughs> that might be you. That might be you. Keep going, keep going, uh, Ron. Keep going. Let's, let's keep going. I'm gonna take this little boy. I want this little boy money in my pockets, baby. How many blocks a game, game? Is that, Ron? 3.7. Come on, man. The Kim Tumbo of this. Let's keep going. The big Ben Wallace of this shit, nigga. Let's keep going. We play both ends of the court. Let's keep going. I don't just be talking about it like these little chumps in the, in the comment section. You understand what I'm saying? You don't get drafted number five in the fifth round when it's 10 rounds in the D-League draft. You don't get drafted in the fifth round by the Los Angeles Lakers team if you suck, nigga. Let's keep going. Hold up. That's blocks again. Mm -hmm. See, Mars, this is what happens when you get through all the BS. When you start really like getting to the, you know what I'm saying, the, the meat and the potatoes of this, and you eat to these dudes that just be on YouTube talking, you know what I'm saying? Because they didn't do their research. It's easy to do. Well, how many points a game is that, Ron? Uh, looks to me like it's 24. 11.9 rebounds. Now, I ain't getting no assist kills. I'm not passing. That's the ball, ball, Ticket. You a black hole in the box, ain't passing. you? That's <laughs> you, Ticket. The you don't have to peel, Ticket. The ball, God damn. I'm not passing the ball. Pass ticket, the you don't know how to pass out of them double teams? Hey, right? No, I'm not, gotta, no, no, no. I'm not passing it. I'm, damn, I'm, I'm, that's I'm, Ticket. That I'm up. throwing the ball in the Ticket. He got three dudes on him. I'm standing. I'm cutting to the basket. I'm sitting on top of the bucket. Yo, Ticket. He is go ahead, not pull up, giving pull up the one, Pull up the one from FIBA.com, Ron. That's from FIBA.com. Y'all can go look it up. How many points the game is at? 24.4. Thank you. Now, go to the go to the last one, Ron. Then those are on FIBA.com. All y'all got to do is go to FIBA.com, basketball, type in my name, and the stats will come up, baby. Now, you tell them other niggas get on their knees when they talk to a real G. All right. And last but certainly not least, I got a message for you guys from – uh. A good friend of mine. He wanted me to tell you guys this. Oh man, my boy. I hate black people. <laughs> what? I hate black people. <laughs> Yo, man, get him out of here. He Yo, I, st I still, I still got that video saved in my phone. That was great. That was great. <laughs> that was great. Hey, yo, Pirate, man, when I see you, bro, I got a knuckle sandwich for you, dog. Yeah, that was great, yo. Uh, yo, Pirate, we need you back yeah. in the mix. We need you back in the mix. But, all right, Ticket, I don't have the last one, Um, but they, they got the message, though. They they, they get it loud. Yo, they did. Now they calling me selfish in the black hole. <laughs> you see what you did to yourself? Now they call me. <laughs> no, Chill Town did that. Chill Town talking about They call me Black Hole TV now. Okay, <laughs> All right, cool. You you want to call uh, it a black hole now? Black hole TV. Okay. Ticket, don't, ticket, uh, don't get off the pill. God damn. Ticket, uh, here I we can go, help though. you out. I can, get, I can get that double team off you. I can get it off you, ticket. Damn. We got more silver chats. It's not done. MP13 said we are really not trying to downplay 70 points. This is just insane. It's an outstanding individual game. Can we not can we not just nitpick everything? This is sad. Hey, you said I played against two cheese. I don't think you would tell that the big Andre Brown that played in the NBA. Uh, we, we, I don't we, think you tell it. I don't think you tell it to all the other league cats that played in the league I played against. I don't think you tell it to Demar Johnson and all them guys. I don't think you tell all these guys that. Damian Jimenez said he made one three. This level of hate needs to be studied. Okay, so and when and when uh, Giannis scored sixty something, you guys came in here and hated on Giannis. I think it's incredible yesterday that we don't even talk about like, like you just said, Ron. Uh, Cat goes for sixty. Joel and B goes for 70. Giannis went almost 30 and 20 yesterday. Ooh. Hey, Ron. A, old boy said a, I played a, against Butchers and Farmers. A, Ron, what type just of players did they sign in Korea and China, Ron? Ron, what just type a of players did they sign in Korea and China? You believe that? Thank 30, you. 17, and 6. Yeah, they, don't, they don't even know. The, they talking it, about, it's, it's dudes in China and in, in, in any of them Asian countries, Japan especially, all of them dudes, a lot of them dudes should be in the NBA. Or they, they, have the, dudes, they, they have they the caliber dudes, to play in the NBA. Bro, listen, they thinking these dudes is like 5-5. Five, five. They say you played against 5 Bro, listen, don't y'all remember the guard from that played for the Lakers named Sun Yu? That motherfucker was 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, bro, them Chinese motherfuckers, them, them, you got some big some big dudes. I don't know if y'all ever seen them. Them dudes over there, them, them, hey, and they sign American, all top-level American players, bro. Whether you ex-NBA or whatever, all them dudes is over. That's how I met a lot of these cats that I know. They used to play in the league because they played in the league a few years and they went and played overseas. That's how I met them. Either they was playing on my team or playing against me. It's a limited amount of spots on these on these NBA rosters. So that's a fact, Bob. It's a limited amount of spots. 
Hey, y'all need, to leave, y'all need to leave the Nessus alone, bro. The Nessus, no, 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 Nessus I'm not leaving I. him alone. Bob, Bob, I'm not leaving him alone. <laughs> the Nessus I, I, I like he's the, the worst, bro. bro I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. In all due respect, he's the worst player I've ever seen. That's not cool. You know, you know, the um, DJ and Benga, you know, see him. He's, he's worse. Maybe than look, maybe these oh, last two seasons, or before these last two oh, seasons, though, the Nessus was hey, borderline dope. Borderline, Mar- borderline. I said it about Mars, I said it about DJ because DJ actually could get jobs with other teams. He actually could get a job with the Mavs. Thanos cannot get a job on any other team. Apparently, the Knicks wanted it. I was Apparently. about to say, ticket the Nassus, he he chose to stay in Milwaukee. No, I'm saying that's probably the, the Knicks probably wanted won. him because they wanted to try they maybe get Giannis down, down the line. Come on, DJ maybe. Didn't have but no they brother. offered him a contract. DJ <laughs> DJ Banger didn't have no brother. DJ Banger was out here getting contracts. Uh, chill town. Do you guys want to see some Thanasis gold? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do I that. Man. I will show you guys. <laughs> Hey, a highlight reel that was, that would stick with you for the rest of your lives. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my the God. Tenacious. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to? Yes or no? Yeah, we do. Go ahead, play. Right. Oh, please, Ron. Please play. Yeah, you want it? You got it. Just, just to get it out your system, because you're gonna be thinking about it for the next two hours if you don't play it right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, chat. Feast your eyes. This the one that on you see. Oh man. Oh, uh, this ain't cool, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we gonna have a we gonna have a nice good time today, y'all. It's been oh, a good boy. episode. We are gonna make it even better. Uh, the yeah. NASA is peak entertainment, and you will see why right now. What the hell? He thought he was coming to him. He was supposed yeah, to be. That's not even that's not even the NASA's fault. No. Hey, that's all right, terrible. man. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Come on. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta watch his reaction though. The fact that he gets tight after all of this. Giannis has the ring. Tatum still searching for his first ring. What the heck? Maybe more important. He went up strong. Yeah, look at the hustle. Look at the hustle. <laughs> they giving him answers. That means he's what the he got hell? ripped right there. That's all. Mark, he's the worst player you've ever seen. Mark. What do you got? And nearly went in. That's exactly what happened. More hustle. Solid, solid footwork. Oh my god. That's just good defense. The ball has sweat on it. We're not done. Got inside. There's more. Oh my god. That's a foul. That's a foul. Look, look. How? Tends to move. Philly. The Nassus. It's the chance to score. Oh, he's a double. Well, he's right. He's right on the foot. He's right on the foot. Couldn't finish. Yo, the so Nats is, I apologize, but whoever did this, now nah, whoever put this clip together is the devil. Yo, the the is, my apologies, but this is gold. Hey, that was a good move. That was a good move. That's not his fault. I had one. I had one. I had one. I had a cool post. That's good. Right on it. Oh, they hate him. Yeah, that wasn't that was cool. They ain't never do that. Now that that jump hook that he threw up, that's that was that was crazy. But I'm not get mad. Get the nest. He's still working. He's still working on his back to the basket game. That's cool. Get get the nest though. I know you guys seen that face up little triple threat that he had. That was that, that was, was nice cool. When, when, yeah. when he jabbed to the to the middle yeah. went baseline. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great move. I love that move. He just he just he just didn't finish, but that was a good move. You call that a, a million dollar move with a ten dollar shot? Is that what it's called? But he got blocked though. Mark, he's better that was defense. Move, <laughs> that's yeah, it was, was a, it was a good, move. it was a good move. It was a good move. It just it just didn't work out at the end, but it was a good move. If Giannis does that, he probably finishes the play, but that's the only difference. They would both do the same move in that situation. I like Where Burrito said, get Gafford to Houston and get rid of Landale and Tate ASAP. Mars is over Landell. He he want Landell off the crew yesterday. He don't want Landell off the crew by the by the trade deadline. He want him off the crew yesterday. I Get him off the crew now. I hate him so much. Yeah, I don't well understand. Last I, that's what I don't understand. That's why. what got that's what got us tricked into giving him eight million. Man, he played <laughs> well in oh, Phoenix last year, bro. He, he wasn't bad. Phoenix, he played well in Phoenix last year, bro. He stinks. Oh, I hate him so much. You don't like uh, Tate either, Mars? No, nah, Jason Tate cool for a better team. He just can't space the floor. So when we have guys like a Men Thompson, he on the floor for no reason because teams just don't even guard him. So we just have no use for him. I'd rather give the minutes to Tyrese and Cam Whitmore, um, a Men Thompson, those Jabari Smith. Like I just don't know why he's there. 
personally. That that's it. But uh, another team could take him. Denver, Denver could take him. Whatever. Someone so else you, can have. Do you problems. agree with me now, then, Mars? Do you think that they will end up making a move as far as like a big move, personnel wise? Do you trust I Ticket now, Mars? Well, I, I don't. I don't think it will be a big move because yeah, I think the only players that we'd be willing to trade is Jock Lando and Jay Sean Tate. Maybe Jeff Green for the right right price. You don't think y'all would give up Jalen Green? I don't think so. Not you this know, season. Next season, to. maybe. Not this season. I don't think so. You don't no, think you're, not, you're not gonna play anything that's his highlights now. You're just gonna play Come that. On, that's crazy. Hey, yeah, that was kind of disrespectful. That hey, was his highlights, wasn't it? Uh, uh, like hey, I Ron, hey, Ron, when Tenacious played in Greece, did he destroy the Greece League? Of no. course. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No. The the net hey, the Nassos was nice and green. The net uh, honestly, I mean, no, 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 I ain't no, no, Ron, no, 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 Right. Well, he doesn't I'll say, get, I'll say he got drafted the year after Yanis got drafted on the back of his own ability. So until until 2017, what did he hold on? But Mars, what did he do in Greece? Maybe 18. Well, statistically, yeah. Like what was he, what was it? Mar hey Ron, stop laughing, Ron. I'm being serious. What was Yo, it, did was you not? Did you not hear what this fool just said? Yeah, no, until 2017, Thanasis was better than Yanis. We heard it. It was facts. When Thanasis was playing, yeah, yeah, he um, said he was drafted off his own merit, and nobody said nothing. He did. He did get drafted off his own merit. No, I'm asking wasn't you, right, right, no, so, but I'm asking you, what did he do in Greece? You said he got drafted off his own. What did he do in Greece before he came to the league? I don't know. The Nationals was all right over there, playing for uh, Panetta Nikos. Panetta was... Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was off the... That was off the... I don't know what he did before he, did before, he did before he got drafted. I'm just assuming. Because the Knicks took him. And no one knew about Yanis after his rookie year. Oh y'all, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all into that though? Do y'all? Hey, chill, 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 chill. I'm thinking maybe to 2018. All right, so y'all into that though? Are y'all are y'all into that? Into what? I ain't here. My 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 uh my cords tripping and cut off. No, I'm saying are y'all into? Are y'all into teams taking risks to get certain? Like for example, chill town. Are you in a team giving up like forfeiting a roster spot to get a Thanos if they think they're gonna get a Giannis? Hell that's yeah. what that's that's, Hell that's yeah. what that, that's what a team's gonna do with Bronny. They're gonna. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking. That's what I know. That's what I'm asking you right I'm, now. Like, I'm, not, what I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not Bronny yet because I think I think Bron's about to have a quick decline very very soon. But like, you think, for the do you past, think James is gonna fall off a cliff, big ops? You think he's gonna I, fall I think, off? A cliff? I think I don't think it's gonna be very gradual. I think it's gonna be happy. I think it's gonna happen quicker because it's his. his you know, his game's predicated a lot off athleticism. So I think mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be a quicker decline. But like for Giannis, the past like three seasons. I'll take the Nassis. I'll take Alex. I'll what? take what's the other one's name? Costis. Costis. I'll take that. I'll take the, the big brother that don't nobody know. I ain't know about until I seen the movie. I'll take all of them to get young. No, I'm saying no. So I'm saying no, no. Listen, what I'm saying. <clears throat> so you would give up. You guys are all saying you too, Mars. Y'all would give up legit roster spots where y'all could have another player who could potentially play and help your team. Yes. Or, we, what you got? Place. What you got? You got 15 roster spots. Only nine of these cats gonna play anyway. You four, y'all go. Them, them chairs right there gonna have your name on them. You not getting up. Maybe Costas, you might get up for about thirty five seconds. Alex, you might get up for about a minute and twenty seconds. The Nassis, depending on who we playing, you might play two minutes. Other than that, so if you're, if you're drafting Bob, if you're drafting this year, you would risk yes. a first round, a late first round pick on Brownie. No, I, I would have done it two, two or three seasons ago. Not this, not this upcoming one. I wouldn't do it. What about you, Chiller Mars? Would y'all forfeit a, a late first round pick for Brownie? Easy, yes. Yes, easy. You would kill hey, right now for for, for for one year for one year. LeBron James, if if it's a late first round pick from Minnesota, yeah, I do that. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, look, so I'm 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 yeah, going not at, playing anyway. Why not? I, I, I'm about I'm about to put this on the screen now. I obviously know it's a lottery, so it, this isn't exactly what the odds are going to be. But I'm gonna just start from the bottom and go to the top, and I'm gonna let you know if I'm these teams, which uh whether I would draft LeBron or not. Uh. Detroit, no. Washington, no. Spurs, absolutely. Yes, for sure. Charlotte, no. Portland, probably not. Raptors, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Hell <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I get Braun, Scotty, and RJ. Come on. Let's let us let us run that. Memphis, 
Yes. A hundred, if I'm Memphis, I might even trade up a couple picks. How about that? <laughs> Brooklyn, hey. yes. Bro- yes. The Brooklyn, Hawks. Yes. If you're the Hawks, do you want Bron? Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Trey, Trey Young, Trey Young can play the two guards. Bron, you got the ball up. Come on. Golden State, hundred yes. percent. Mm-hmm. I'm trading Andrew Wiggins to get to move up to get Bron. You hold on. So you no no. I'm saying no no. Y'all talking about Bronny? Yes, yes, Bronny. So I can get Bron. Yes, all these the, the warrior the Warriors don't have that pick this year. So they are. Well, if they did, they say they, they say the Spurs will be the team to do it. The Spurs have two first round picks early in the draft. Yo yo, Mars. I would trade. I would trade Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins. And Draymond Green to get into the lottery to pick Bronny. I'll pick Bronny oh second, second overall to get to get Bronny. You are fired. You are fired as a if I got one year of Stephen LeBron. <coughs> I'm not gonna say it's a championship, but it's hey, it's pretty close. But you you know, you know, you know how much the ticket prices go up. We getting paid. But what's gonna happen if Steph don't make the shots? Is he gonna is Bron gonna try and get him traded? How Steph not gonna make the shots? <laughs> we talking about Steph Curry. He making the shots. Right, but they Come say on, every man. time somebody plays under LeBron pressure, is they don't they That's, don't make I don't know who, I don't know why anybody would say that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bron, right, so Bron, we, Bron, Bron I, makes I, his teammates I, I, better. Bron, 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 Bron has been making his teammates better since 2006. Ron, I'm gonna say this since, to y'all, since 2006 until this very second, Bron makes his teammates better. I, I, so I'm gonna say this to y'all, and I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let it go. What hurts me, I think, the most when I see the situation, bro, I do think it's wrong. I think ESPN, what they're doing is wrong because they're putting uh, Bronny in a bad situation. All the extra hype that Bron and them are doing, the comments are scathing on this kid. The the fans are scathing on this kid, and he didn't ask to be in this position. He's not talking. He's not doing all this stuff. So to see, like, all the hate, because he getting vitriol, bro. I'm talking about straight hate, bro, and he didn't ask for none of this. It kind of bothers me a little bit because I always want to see the youth kind of be able to grow and be going to their own merit. Like, if you guys remember Jordan, you remember Jordan, uh, Chilltown. He never was, like, pushing for his son to be in the league. Even though his son played college basketball, he was never pushing, like, that his son, he wanted to play with his son, he wanted his son to be in the league. You know what I'm saying? He never pushed that. He just, his son wasn't good enough, I guess, and it just didn't happen, and it was okay. And on top of that, though, and, and, and on top of that, to watch him, to, to watch Bronny James. There's no other person that we would be doing this for. He's a kid who's learning how to play college basketball. He's not ready for the pro game yet. He's not. He should be in school developing. And if right. this wasn't his right. father, that's what he would be doing. He would be in school, getting better, developing, being a freshman in college. But the fact that now this is his father who's thinking about retiring soon, we're trying to speed this process up. You're gonna ruin this kid. You're gonna straight. I mean, he's still, he's still, even this year, even with the press and that all that's going on, he's he's still getting the workout, still getting better. Um, hopefully, hopefully he stays another year or two. I, I do hope he stays around he just to work, on, work three, on his five. own game. He went three but games I'm going to field goal, bro. No, I understand that. I understand that. But I think I think Bronny got game. I think if he sticks around, stays too. at stays stays at UCLA, he shouldn't come out this year. I don't think so. I think would it ruin at least him? Would, year. would it ruin his? Would it ruin him long term, Marsh? Like, I don't for know. example, if they, but, hold on. This is what I'm saying, Bob. Versus what you just said, mm-hmm. if they let him stay at USC and develop his game the right way, chill. I agree with y'all. I think Bronny got skills. I think he can play defense. I think I don't think that Bronny has the mentality of a superstar, but I think he'd be a damn good role player. I think mm-hmm. that Bronny could hit shots and play defense. I think he's a high level, high IQ basketball player. He's not a guy that's out there forcing the issue, trying to like forcing up 15, 16 shots, trying to get into the league. He's out there like really running through the offense, trying to play a team game, things yeah. like that. To for me. I would like to see him have that time to really grow. Do y'all think that it would ruin him long term if LeBron and those guys rushed him into the league this year? He's not ready, and it just breaks him as a player. Because I don't think I don't think Bronny's ever going to be a superstar in the NBA anyway. I think no, 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 no. I think saying, he's going to no, no, be a really good role player. Good. But I don't. Bye, bye, bye. But look, I don't. I, I just it it depends. It depends on where he ends up. I don't think it's going to necessarily ruin him. I mean, you got to remember, Bronny. Bronny been getting pro workouts. For forever, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He be, he been getting pro workouts forever, so I don't think it's gonna necessarily ruin him. His dad has a very high basketball IQ, and Bronny. The thing I like about Bronny is he plays the game the right way. I think that's what you were alluding to a minute ago. Yeah. He's not out there forcing shots. He plays the game the right way. I like that. Right. I, I do think Bryce is. I think Bryce got potential to be one of those guys. He's I'm not sure guy. about Bronny though. But He's you know what, ticket? I was. I'm thinking about this right. And and I'm, this isn't a, this isn't a backhand compliment. Or nothing. I mean this with with, <clears throat> with, with with all due respect, honestly. 
I think the reason why you see it this way, as opposed to the way I see it, as far as like the roster spots and wasting it, is because you were close, you had league action, you know what I'm saying? So you you kind of you can feel it, you know what I'm saying? Them giving roster spots to people that might not deserve it. I was never at that level to where I almost was on a roster or something like that. So you know what I mean? So I think I think it's I think it's a little different from the way we look at it. That's why I'm kind of taking it as oh, you know, it ain't no big deal. So I, I, when I look at it that way, I can definitely respect where you're coming from with that. So, you know, I, I, I don't want to play around about it, you know, now that I'm looking at it from that way. I don't think that these teams should be, you know, wasting spots on Bronny to get Bron. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, when you think about it too, Bronny now, I don't think he's ready anyway. Yo, yeah, because when I was in a- this, the NBA is a game of chess. It is a game of chess. You got to do what you got to do. On top of that, bro, I, you guys are really like, so is it about him, Ron, or is it about just? It's, it's about both. Bronny got the potential to be a very good basketball player. No, he no, got the but that could ruin him, though. Potential to be, he has a floor to be Avery Bradley, I think. But couldn't he that, has a floor on, to play phenomenal him, defense. A floor? He's, he's a, Avery a Bradley? floor. A floor. Oh, ceiling, do you, ceiling, do you, ceiling, ceiling, Do you guys not know a floor? Do you guys no, not see the way Bronny work. shoots? Uh, yeah, but Avery, I think I don't know. Avery, Avery Bradley, though. Avery, you are used I think he can even be better than Avery Bradley offensively. Ron, he can even be better than Avery Bradley offensively. Ron, he's this, this is why. Three. This is why. If, if, if the last few, because I've watched Pac 12 basketball. The last few games that I've been watching from Bronny, you're starting mm-hmm. to see he's getting more comfortable handing the ball. He's actually mm-hmm. starting to really look like a point guard with some of the decisions and passes that he's making. And that's also why his game is so mm-hmm. patient. That's why he doesn't force things because he sees the floor. You can start to see he actually got an IQ behind him. And he just know. not only does he, he know how the right to play way for sure, Ron. Right not only does sure. he know how to play the right way, but he makes the right plays. In but terms does that get you hooked on Ron? Just, just like his stock. Just like his stock. Hold on. Does that help you be a floor Avery Bradley in the league just because you play the right way? It's a lot of dudes if, that play the right way. Super dope, if, bro. If, if 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 you're athletic, can play defense and pick up point guards uh, full court. If you're a six four point guard, and on top of that, if you can slash and make the right plays, yes, that gives you a floor. Avery Bradley, we're not. Avery Bradley wasn't averaging thirty. Man, and, Avery Bradley was well, a monster. Well, we're not, bro. But we're not. Well, we're not Avery, talking Avery, about Avery, the scoring. If if it wasn't if it wasn't for that COVID shit, bro, Avery Avery would still be uh Avery would still be reputable on on, on yeah. rosters like. Avery would still be yeah, he he would still be a sought after playing in the NBA. I think mm-hmm. I, and and this coming from you, Ron, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked because no, Avery, I, no, Avery, I've, been, I've think, been watching him and I, I, think, I got no, love for Avery. I understand. I've seen you know I haven't I probably haven't watched as many. I, I haven't really watched as many. I probably only caught I only probably caught Bronny once or twice this 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 season. Really, just once, and I've seen like some highlights of the other one. So, but so I'm just kind of going off of just based off what I've seen Bronny growing growing up playing. <clears throat> Bron, he play, he played the game the right way. Yeah, I, th- I think he I think he's really smart. I just don't. Yeah, but that's just not always enough though. Like we we we've, we've seen tons of smart players that just he just you know. Yeah, I don't, Bob, I don't tell think, y'all one thing. Think, and also, y'all. His, his jump shot got a lot better, but he's not shooting NBA range threes though. Bob, let me tell y'all one thing. Before, before I, mean, I go. some of them threes is long threes that he be shooting. Ron, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. And, and he looks comfortable shooting them too. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, bro. By Avery Bradley though, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing from behind the scenes, bro. When I was with the when I was in LA, um, <clears throat> we had to, we went the same we were using the same locker rooms we were using like the visitors locker room but the same locker rooms as the Lakers in the in the practice facility in the old facility in El Segundo, and um, <clears throat> before we came out to practice, they would have a stop in this waiting room and it had this curtain up, and one of the parts of the curtain was kind of bent you could see through it and I used to watch Kobe we used to have to wait because Kobe would work out in the morning by himself before we could even go in the gym. And then while we're practicing, Kobe's in the weight room. So he's in the weight room right right behind us in the weight room. And then the coaches, their office is upstairs. They'd be sitting upstairs, Mitch Cup checking those guys when he was running the Lakers at that time, him, Ronnie Lester, and all those guys. Bro, when I tell you something, then the G – I don't know how many roster spots the G League has now, Mars. You can check it. When I played in the D League, it was ten only 10 spots. So it was only 10 spots. They had 18 dudes and 20 – it was supposed to only be 16 dudes in camp. When you get to camp, it's 20 something dudes in camp. Right, Bob? Bro, when you say it about Bronny playing the right way, mm-hmm. I agree with you. That does mean something. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you what I think my mistake was. When I went in, I went in trying to terrorize and get buckets. And I was hitting them shits too. They was calling me get them up because I was putting them shits up when we was playing. You can ask, um, uh, fucking, uh, uh, I think D. Ham might have been there too. He might have been there that year. Uh, but Chucky Atkins, he was my coach. You can ask him too. 
It was like, hey, this motherfucker's getting that shit up, bro. Like, hit all them shits. But that wasn't what it was. You had dudes that I was like, man, I felt like I'll play that. I'll play him. But he played his role better. In the NBA, that's how it is. Like, if you listen it's to Udonis Haslam, chill. I want you to listen to something. Y'all go listen to Udonis Haslam's OD show, uh, OG show with uh, Mike Miller. Chill. They got some of the best stories on that show. You know what Udonis Haslam said? He said, bro, when I came from Florida, I was one of the best. Billy Donovan said he was one of the best low post scorers in college basketball coming out of college. When you went to the league, they said no. He didn't even get drafted. They said, no, we don't want you. We don't need you to do that. He had to go overseas, trim down and change his entire game and be more of a role player type of guy coming into the league to make it to the league. So he explained how he had to change. That kind of hurt him, but it helped him on draft night. He was he was upset, heated, because he knew he had went at all these dudes, balled out in his workouts, balled out in, in the, what you call it. But that ain't what it is sometimes. Sometimes, like, when you see guys like Landale and these guys in the league uh, and stuff, these are specialty guys. They got the one or two guys that's going to go get you the buckets. So I do agree. I feel what you're saying sometimes on – this guy being able to fit in like Bronny fit in a role, Bob, uh, because some teams, they, they know they got their superstars. They want their specialty guys. They want the other guys that's going to fit in with the team. My moral of the story yeah. is this. I think my biggest mistake was is that I went in there thinking that you had to be the best attack guy in the world when they already had those guys on the team. Right. Those guys those guys were already on the team. They were looking for other guys, so I, I approached it the wrong way. Mentally, if I would have went and approached them, oh, I'm just going to get all the rebounds, block all the shots, and do all the dirty work, maybe now, you know what I'm saying, you cut into that spot right there. You know what I'm saying? Ticket, That's you got to remember, though. You got to remember, though, Ticket. Like, what else did you know at that time? That's how mm -hmm. you knew how to play. You didn't know the business of basketball. You knew right. that, yo, I got to go ahead. I'm trying to get to the NBA. And what you saw in the NBA was you saw guys kicking ass. Mm -hmm. That's what you saw. And in order for you to get on, I got to kick ass, too. Mm -hmm. They're not looking for. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I don't know that they need a glass cleaner. I don't know that they need a rim protector. I don't know that they're looking for a specific skill set. I mean, nobody talks about the fact that Dennis Rodman averaged 26 and 15 in college. Dennis Rodman yeah. didn't average no three or four points. He averaged 26 and 15. He came to the NBA as a dirty work guy. So, ticket, you don't know that. You only went off of what you knew at that time, and you coming into a D league into a, into a G league camp. Because it's one step below the NBA, I gotta kick ass, and I gotta kick ass the only way I know how. I don't know that there's a specific role that they need me to play. I don't know that. That's, I just know how to play my game, bro. It was the chill. That's, um, that's, sim that's similar. That's similar to like what, what happened with me with the uh, Reno Bighorns. It was like oh, yeah. it's it's like it's, it's it's you and that shit. They they gave my spot up quick to this, this kid, this cat, uh, cat out of Fresno State. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's that's how it be. They're like, yo, we got we got we got it. We got guys that'll go, you know what I'm saying, do what you do and get that rebound. But hey, we need we need you know what I'm saying, like it's specialty things. You it's not it's not just about mm -hmm. how good you are, you know what I'm saying? It's about and, and, what they and Bob, need. it made me feel like that because and this I'll let y'all have this before I leave. I felt the way, bro, because one day I turned around to the side and one of the brothers said, Yo, they said they go look at Kobe over there. I'm like, what? I turned around. Kobe comes out the weight room. He has weight. He has his gloves on from where he's lifting weights. And he's just standing in the door watching us practice. A G League, mm -hmm. the G League team. He's just standing there in the door watching us practice. And I looked at him. I looked up. And you look up at some stairs that goes up. And on the upper level, just sitting out there on the on the on the porch is Phil Jackson sitting up there. It's Mitch Kupchak who was running the team. Ronnie Lester. All these guys are sitting up there just looking down, watching the G League guys. And I made that. I brought, boy, I went out there by mine. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. You're going to ask my coach. You're going to ask Chucky Atkins. I went out there and shot that shit every time. And I think that made, I think I, I made a mistake because, and I was hitting them shits too. I was like, oh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't shit. I'm finna be on here. You know who they gave my spot to? A motherfucker that did, wasn't even in camp, that played in the league, that was sitting in camp. He set out the whole camp. He was smart. He faked the injury, set out the whole camp because he knew he was going to make the roster anyways. Ended mm -hmm. up making the roster in the end. You know what I'm saying? And that took the that took the spot. And that's how it is in the D League, man. Like you could be balling in the D League averaging 20 right now. If an NBA guy gets sent down, up, oh, you're cut. Go, you gotta go, dog. Because that's oh, yeah. how it goes. We'll bring you back if they he gets another call up. But if they send a guy down, you're gone. And that's just how it is. People don't understand how hard it is to stick in professional basketball. But what you said about Bronny and just the intangibles and the role playing, I felt that, bro, because that is right, bro. A lot of players go in these situations thinking they gotta do one thing. When the team needs you to do something, their team is looking for something else. 
and you don't even know what they're looking for. They're just looking to see if you present what they need at that time. Yeah. So, bro, that was a that was a great observation, bro. Mm -hmm. Yo, ticket. Uh, hold up for a little bit. I got a I got a couple more super chats, so we we gonna go ahead and read these. Right. Uh, Sauce Man said you're not gonna talk about the C's Mavs game. Is it? We, we did. did talk about it, but yeah, is there anything else that you guys want to mention from this game? Um, I didn't realize how much better the Celtics were than Dallas. I didn't realize that because they are much better than the Celtics. And when you when Jake went rebounds, that's my opinion. <laughs> Rebounded his own miss like four times on one possession. Moses like, Malone, I saw that yeah, too. He, he, he missed like three layups and got his rebound every tip, time. Like, tip, Moses I'm Malone. By, I'm not moved by 18 and rebounds. Like, Moses rebound Malone. Mm -hmm. And hey, this, the first time. same thing we talked about yesterday. The same thing we talked about yesterday. And actually, Tim Hardaway is playing off Luca. He could create a shot. I don't think that he would be a great one-on-one -on -one player. But if Luca wasn't there. I do think that he would be able to do other stuff if Luca wasn't there. But he, I didn't see it in, in, in New York, chill. That's the thing, y'all saying that. But he, averaged 15, he averaged fifteen a game in New York. No, 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 Take no, no. It. But no, no, no. You're not, you're not hearing what I said. I ain't say that. I said I didn't see him do with the creation that y'all saying. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, with no, 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 and, and, and no, no. He had a terrible, that off somebody else. And he had a terrible, he had a terrible coach in Derek Fisher. A no, but he was getting it off. Stuff. He was getting, but he was getting it off driving kicks. I'm saying, I'm talking about. Chill, it's different when you can put it down and go get a bucket yourself. Like, Ron knows it's like, it's different. Like, Ron is a point guard. So, Ron knows sometimes I got to create for some guys, and some, some guys can create for themselves. I don't see him in the area of guys that can create for themselves. That's why I disagree with Mars on yesterday. Yo, Ticket, I got one last super chat for you. Uh, Prince Ali Rogers said, I seen I seen a ticket highlight where he got an M1 and got so hype he threw his headband into the crowd, laughing my ass off. Bro, a showman for real. Hey man, that was is, in China or Korea. I forget which one. This is, if I'm not mistaken, basketball is entertainment, and that's part of it. That's part of it. 100%. I used to do that every game, chill. I used to, whenever yeah, I got a dunk, whenever I dunk on somebody or something like that, I used to take a tech. My coach would know I get a tech. But I didn't care because the whole crowd was going crazy. That video is online, I think. I, I think I dunked on somebody. I got an and one on somebody that game. And that was a big and one because we had took the lead and we ended up winning that game. But the crowd was going crazy. We was on the road and I was just talking stuff. And I just took the head, man, and threw it all the way up to like the 30th row. And all them people was going crazy and stuff like that. And it was just, it's a feeling, bro, being out there and stuff like that. So, you know, like I said, I've been blessed, man, regardless. On playback last night, we was watching the, uh, the Hawks and Kings game. Uh, JaVale did something similar. Yeah, JaVale McGee he came, got a dunk, and the, the Kings were were smacking the, uh, the Hawks, by the way, at this at this moment. It was in the fourth quarter. I think that was up like 13, 14. Yeah. JaVale got a dunk, pulled himself up on the rim, hung on the rim for a little bit, ended up getting the technical. But it was a good technical because the fans was going crazy. His teammates was hyped. He walked down the bench, slapped everybody's hand. Those are Some of those are good technicals. And now it's, it, it can be bad technicals, but it also can be good technicals too, depending on the moment of the game. Mm -hmm. But all, all right, ticket. We're gonna catch you tomorrow. You already know what it is, man. And y'all know what it's gonna be. Mars. Keep your head up, boy. All right, I see ticket. you tomorrow, sucker. I see you tomorrow, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> all right, chump. That's right, chump. See you tomorrow. So. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we, we we into the second half of the show, and I got some good things to talk about. What's good, Pass Delmo? That. Pass that. What's good? What's good? What's good? Chill Pass tomorrow, Will. Pass you know I will that. chill. <laughs> Damo, right from the top, you sent me something last night, and Absolutely. so we're gonna we're gonna play that right now. We're not gonna waste no time at all. Y'all, uh, let me know if you can hear it. Make sure, volumes up. It was an absolute mm -hmm. disgusting yeah, we can hear it. defense and immature basketball. Um, all the way through the game. So it really didn't slip away. It had been there from the jump. So this is what happens when you uh, have this type of approach. It was an absolute disgusting performance of defense. I just had to let him say that again. I'm gonna say it was if you go down, it's another, uh, it's a second part to it where he elaborates a little more to it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not signed into X. I don't, oh, I don't okay. do I got, I got X activities. You. But hold on, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna send myself the other one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you guys to talk about this, and then we'll play the other video too. 
I just I sent that to him because when I first heard it, because I didn't catch the game. I was doing the podcast last night, so I couldn't catch the game. We I were just it. getting updates throughout it, and we heard MB's closing in on 70. He got to 70, and then Cat at halftime, he had like 43, 45. So somebody, um Omar was like, Oh, cat's on yeah, pace for 86. Yeah, 58 at like, the end of the third. Jesus. Yeah, 58 at the end of the third. So I'm thinking everything's going well. I check. It's a close game still. Eventually, the Hornets take the lead. So I'm like, oh, Cat's dropping the hundred because they're gonna need all these all these buckets. He slows down. The pace slows down. I'm like, all right, Cat has 62. I'm cool. He 62 in the loss. Still a good night for Cat. I'm thinking. I go. I go on, um, on Twitter. I get to scrolling and I see that's the coach, right? That's that's their coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure who the coach of the Timberwolves were, but I assumed that was the coach. And essentially, he's saying it was immature. It was just that basically. Slandering the 62 point performance. Now, I was told that Cat shot them out the game. I didn't watch the game. I need to go back and watch that game and that fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I still, even hearing, oh, Cat shot some bad shots, took him out the game. I felt it was bad of a coach. I, I'm not going to say bad of a coach. I just don't see a situation where a guy goes for 62, 60 plus, has a great night. And that's the immature guy. That's the bad guy. That's the that's the guy we're blaming. That's the guy we're saying, hey man, it's 62, but you still need to play defense. I seen comments of people saying, no, great accountability. More coaches need to do this, this, that, and the third. I seen other people saying, oh, nah, man, that, that was the right thing to say. Am I bugging for thinking, hey man, a coach is wilding for a guy in 62 yeah. and has a bad game. Domo, and it, he's blaming it, the guy with 62. And so, didn't really have a bad game. We we <coughs> was watching it on playback. We was going back and forth. We we watched the whole second half. We we was in and out a little bit. But here's what really was the thing. It turned into a circus with trying to get Cat the ball so he can so he can just basically stat pad. The thing that everybody trips on up here, every panelist and everybody in the crowd, what does everybody trip on? Empty stats. And that's what they were. Joel, his 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 buckets were actually coming in the flow of the game. They were double teaming him. He was working for, for his money. Cat was out there. It seemed like he was just running around trying to trying to shoot everything, score everything. And it was just, it just didn't look good. On top of that, they were up like 15. And the lead just slow. The more and more cat started searching for his points, the more and more the lead slowly started dwindling down. And then here, here's what's the worst part of the whole thing. The Hornets came back, took a lead by one point, ended up taking the lead by one point. In the midst of this, cat is still basically um Search, searching for easy money and, and trying to stat pad. But the worst thing of the whole thing is during the last six minutes of the, of the fourth quarter, the coach started benching Cat. He was he was literally benching Cat. They were playing offense defense with him and uh him and Kyle Anderson. Why? Mm -hmm. Because Cat was Cat was playing bad. He was literally playing terrible, not playing defense. It was just I'm telling you, it was a bad showcase of basketball. On top of that, he missed the bucket to tie the game. Then he missed a bucket to, and it was it was the one that he that he missed to tie the game. He just missed it. It was he, he forced actually it he got fouled. Yeah, he, he got he got fouled. He got hit he on got, the he arm. Got fouled right there. No, I didn't think he got fouled. He got fouled. He, he got, got he, fouled. He, he got hit right on the arm. It was clearly oh. a foul. I'm a, the, those those are the plays that make me nuts. Those those are the plays that make me nuts. But the problem isn't the problem isn't just like cat playing bad. The problem was let's rewind the clock. Let's rewind the clock, Ron. So. Just so you know, Damo, Cat didn't, not Cat, I'm sorry, Anthony Edwards didn't score until the fourth quarter. He was 0 for 4. And the reason why he was that was because all of those guys, they made a conscious effort to get Cat the ball. Well, what happens in they get into the fourth quarter, they get into the fourth quarter, they're up 12. They're not getting any stops. I mean, Charlotte shot 60% from the floor and on the long ball line. These guys are getting whatever they want, wherever. I know that sounds ridiculous. They're getting whatever they want. Whenever they want, driving downhill, there's no rim protection, there's nobody stopping the ball, there's no ball pressure. They're basically scoring almost every trip. Add that to the fact that on the offensive end of the floor, they're not doing what they were doing a second ago, which is Rudy's diving to the paint, Rudy's diving to the rim, which they were getting him the ball. Now he's not touching the basketball. Ant is now shooting the basketball in the fourth quarter, but he's got to shoot the basketball because now Charlotte has gotten back into the game and they're in a the rhythm. So they're going to Cat and going away from what they went up. They're going to Cat and going away from what got them there. Not just Cat. It was other things that had gotten them there. So him taking Cat out the game because Cat wasn't playing good. Cat was Cat was buckets early, but he wasn't playing good. He had stopped rebounding. They had stopped defending. And now we find ourselves 
up 13. We go from being up 13 to now we're in a dog fight, which that game should have been over, which, by the way, pissed me off, too, Damo, because that's the second night in a row that they did that. They did the same thing two nights ago against Oklahoma City, where they were up 13 in the fourth quarter, and they gave it up. And that's just, uh, one, it's bad execution. And two, to his to your point, Damo, in addition to Cat, it's also bad coaching. It is also bad coaching, too, 100%. I didn't appreciate that loss last night from them at all. No, I don't. I'm, I'm telling you, it went from three quarters of Thundercat to one quarter of Kitty Cat. Kitty. And, kitty. And I want to say another word other yeah, than like Kitty, this, but like this big, uh, like this small. Kitty, That's how big. Kitty is suffice. Yes. Hey, Ron, was he he was talking about uh cat right there when he said that? Or he was talking about the whole team. I thought he was talking about the team. I took it as him talking about the team. That's why I That's yeah. what I took it as at first. But then I I seen people on my timeline, I've seen people saying. It was directed to Cat, and again, I didn't watch the game, so I still needed to watch. So I'm like, damn, was it that bad? Then it, it got late last night. I was like, F it, I'm just asking the guys in the morning, or I'm gonna ask the guys on the show tomorrow because I know for a fact y'all watched it. I'm listen, I'm not trying to push no narratives or say anything. I just initially hearing a guy dropping 62 on what seemed to be yeah. relatively efficient, it didn't. I, and I'm hearing people say, Yeah, he's blaming Cat. Good coach, it's good on you. I'm like, I've never heard. Yeah. Of it being good to blame a guy who dropped 60. <laughs> and I'm looking just at the box score at 3 4 11. I'm like, whoa, we blame me. I didn't last watch night, it, man. but if it was that bad, that's, that's, if that's it was quarter. that bad, then hey, that's fourth quarter. He missed eight I'm, 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 a, I'm upset I missed that game because I only caught the like the first, I think I only caught the first half of the Sixers game. And I, I didn't get to see any of the, the Wolves game either, Damo. So I'll, I'll they didn't, check up now too. Big Ox, they didn't they didn't create anything on offense. I mean, every mm -hmm. everything that I just talked about with, with how good Minnesota was on offense, that's how bad uh, how good um Charlotte was on offense. That's how bad Minnesota was on defense. I mean, cat mm -hmm. eight cat missed eight out of ten shots. Mm -hmm. I think they shot less than I think they shot 10% on the long ball in that fourth quarter. They couldn't make a shot. And not only could they not make a shot, they couldn't stop those guys. And when you get that together. When you get that together and they get that momentum going, forget it. You got no shot. Hey, do y'all think that um they they did that like consciously? Do y'all think maybe they talked about it? Like, hey, this is the anniversary of Kobe scoring 81. Hey, cat, you trying to go for 81 or something? You, no, you don't think I don't so? Think so. No, no, I'm saying, Ron, that's, that's, that's not that crazy. Ron, that's not that crazy, Ron. No, 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 no. This it, is all it, it, it would have been ant. You're saying it would have been ant? Yes, come on. They're not, not opening in a photo and be like, like cat, uh, it's, I'm Pat, it's on you. 81 tonight. Let's go. Nah, Let's I'm go, saying that, bro, bro, come on. Y'all, you y'all, you know, bro. You've been on teams in locker rooms. You know the conversations happen. Like, that could that could have happened, bro, but they could have chose cat because maybe he's the he's a longer tenured uh T Wolf instead of Ant, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that was like, yo, cat. Maybe it could, you know, Ant style. Ant might have been like, yo, cat. Go, we playing, we playing Charlotte. Man, go, go do that tonight. Here's the thing. I don't think is, that was the case. I, I know I Ant can came see, out. I can see that. Ant came out after the game and said essentially like he wanted him to get a hundred. Like he said, he said like once Cat got going, they didn't. Essentially, they didn't care. I'm, 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 I'm really putting it in my words, but essentially, hey man, we wanted him to get, the, we wanted him to score, and he wanted him to get a mm hundred. -hmm. So I don't think it was something pre-planned, yeah. but once he goes thirty in a, and he got, he's seen the second quarter with thirty points, hey, big dog, go for a hundred. I'm I'm all here for it. And that was dope out of Cat. I'm I'm actually happy for Cat for the for the first three quarters of his performance. Cat went he went crazy and like we no I know nobody expected that out of Cat. Like Joel's was and I'm gonna run a poll. What was more surprising, Joel scoring seventy or or Cat scoring sixty two? I don't think nobody was expecting that to come from Cat. So I, I was happy to see it. It was just like, I'm like, Cat, you did all of this to come down to the stretch and turn it just to just turn into your old self, forcing layups, forcing <laughs> shots. It just, it just, it turned out bad. It, just it saying, really what's Cat? What's Cat's? What was Cat's career high? Because 62 is a career high now, right? Yeah. yeah 62 you, what what was, was it before that? Cat, Cat 60, had done 50 before, 60. right? He 60? 60. Yeah, he oh, yeah. 60. See, Cat, Cat, can, Cat can fill it up. Cat mm -hmm. can fill it up. The, the thing about him, though, is he should have had 70 last night, too. Yeah, he should have had, had 80. He should have had 80. He should have had low key. Actually, low that's key. what he should have had. However, this is indicative of why Kat, last night was why you're not winning the NBA championship with Cat as your best player. Last night was evidence of that, of why you they there was no reason why they shouldn't have won that game, none whatsoever. Going into the fourth quarter, this is the best team in the Western Conference, going up against arguably the worst team in the Eastern Conference and one of the worst teams in the NBA. We're up double digits. We got to close these guys out. And even if your team is making a conscious effort to get you to basketball, I still have to be put in space. I still got to be put in spaces, which he was, put in spaces where I can be effective. And he wasn't. 
These guys didn't rebound last night. They Not only did they not rebound, these guys didn't get any stops. To have a Charlotte Hornet team shoot almost 70% on the long ball in the fourth quarter, they shot over 60% on the long ball in the fourth quarter to get them back in the game. No pressure on the three-point line. LaMelo Ball is getting whatever he wanted. LaMelo Ball is getting whatever he wanted. Now, all of a sudden, we get late into the game, and Anthony Edwards now has to try to slow LaMelo down because he's already rolling at this point. He's got to try and slow Brandon Miller down because he's already rolling. Washington is getting to the basket. No rim protection from Rudy. I'm thinking to myself, are you going to block a shot, big fella? Are you going to mm. are you going to deter a shot? What's going to happen here? These guys are just getting whatever they wanted last night. And last night was evidence that if you guys are going to win it, somebody else is going to have to step up because it's not this guy. How did Brandon Miller look last night? Because I see he has oh, 27. Man. He had 27. Oh, did, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Did, did the PG show? <laughs> did, did the Ooh. Paul George influence show last night? Ooh. And, and Miles Bridges, he did his thing too last night. But yeah, Brandon Miller was the team, yeah. balling last night. He made, a, he made a clutch fall away, fade away, crazy mid-range shot last night. We watching it on playback. JD don't know nothing about uh, the Hornets. So he's like, who is this guy? Why'd you shoot that? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it was it, it, it was really a crazy. It was kind of like a dagger too. Who was on your playback uh, on the playback last night, Ron? Uh, it was you, JD, was, and who? It, it was me and J. Rob. JD literally joined oh, okay. because he only wanted to watch the uh, the the second half of the of the Timberwolves game to see how much Cat would finish with. We obviously yeah. just see because uh, the it was gifted and who was it? It was gifted and somebody else. They were on. They were seven. watching the seven. It was yeah, seven. Gifted in seven. My bad. Seven. It was gifted in seven. They were watching the 76ers game, so they literally watched Joel and B drop seventy, and then we're hearing, yeah. "Oh my God, That's Cat fine. got fifty in the third quarter. We about to watch this. We about to watch two people go for 70. And then obviously what happened happened, and so you, well, you Brandon Miller had this game to watch that. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm worried really? about. It. I'm, I'm 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 on that Minnesota train, man. I am. I'm I'm still on that Minnesota train, but this ain't this isn't this ain't good enough. This Chill, last good night, enough. last night, what I seen kind of sparked all of my problems with the Timberwolves. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it like mm -hmm. it, it, it raised every last insecurity that I have with the Timberwolves, yep. and that's yep. and that's that Anthony Edwards is still young, <laughs> and maybe he's still not quite ready. Yo, once, it, once again, once again, I got to say, y'all are being awfully dramatic right now. No, we not. Nah, y'all are being awfully dramatic. Right I don't, no, I don't need to see that, Ron. Ron, Ron I don't need to see that, Ron. Ron, 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 Ron. I don't need to see that. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you why, Chilton. Let me tell you why, Chilton. We don't need to be concerned with something like this, bro. Them boys was out there playing. They was not taking them serious. And mind you, mind you, the problem. Wait, 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 Ron, Ron, relax, relax. I can't. I didn't watch the game. I'm just basing it off of just you know just who. And what y'all told me about it, it just it just seems to me like that was like, go ahead, and like it's, it's Charlotte, we not tripping, and then it, it went bad for him. It happened, it happened, bro. That shit that cannot be indicative of how good this team. It shows immaturity, it shows right. immaturity. But there's different levels of immaturity. Are we immature like we're gonna break down in the fourth, be, in a in a in a game where we're playing like when let's say let's say it's second round of the playoffs and they're playing against the Clippers or they're playing against Denver. Are they the type of mature that they're gonna fold? Under pressure because they they don't know how to to you know get get through the. That's what it was last quarter. night. Huh? Or, but but what I'm saying though that that was I don't think that's what it was. Y'all said y'all said y'all said y'all said Anthony Edwards didn't even score to the fourth. I don't think I don't think it was one of them type of games. I don't think this type of immaturity, this level of immaturity of not play, taking a taking a very bad team seriously, is different than immaturity of being in the fire. Like they they made they were in the playoffs last year. This team, this team, they didn't win, but they were in the playoffs last year. They felt the playoffs now. You know what I mean? Like, Rudy Gobert's been 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 on playoff runs. Mike Ron, Conley's you know been on playoff runs. Well, yeah. I don't think I don't think well, this yeah. level of immaturity where we was we was, you know, messing around with this le far less superior team, and we was going to let Ant try to go for fifty. And then there's a different there's a difference between that and being in the heat of battle. That's just my personal take. Yeah. I don't think I don't think this is indicative of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think they're a championship contending team. Yo, I will say this though: it, it was one factor that wasn't there last night. And maybe Cat doesn't score sixty-two if this player plays. And maybe they finish the game. I'm actually almost positive they finish the game off better if Mike Conley is there. If their captain Mike, or general is there, on, bro. no, he didn't play last night. Hey, y'all, yeah. y'all are being awfully dramatic once again. Why y'all keep doing this? All right, so I'm because just telling we, you, it just we, it just raises a, all my insecurities when Rudy Gobert's getting cooked in the fourth quarter. Cat just can't finish her. Is nowhere to be found in the fourth quarter. Who is their second best player in on any given night could be their best player and their best player 
on any given night. Yeah, doesn't but, really have a great but game. Ron, but Ron, you assists, just you you just said have a great game. You just said that they're activating your insecurities. What Deion Sanders said, what he said, don't let your inconsistencies judge my sign or whatever he said. You know what I'm saying? The one Ron, my, Ron, you know, mine too. Come you, know, on. you know what I saw last That's night? That's y'all insecurities, I, not, I, not, I, not I, the Timberwolves. I, I, I saw the chick that I ain't really trusting, and I found a phone number. That's what I found. Mm, listen, listen. I found, mm, I found mm, now this phone number is from a dude that I don't really know who, who ain't got no shot with her, but she took the number just off the strength. Now you found it in her wallet or in her pocket. I found I actually found it on the table. Like she just left it out. <laughs> she just left it out. It's oh, she just she just test she just tested your insecurities. It, 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 it shouldn't, it, it shouldn't it even it shouldn't even be there. This is something that shouldn't even be shouldn't there. Even and be this no is a dude, there. and this is a dude who ain't even a threat, right? But the fact that it's there now, it's raised my insecurities. That see the stuff that I thought about you before, here it comes again. Same and, logic. And last you know night. what's gonna happen, and you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose a good one for nothing. Listen, Ox, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm with you, Ox. I'm more with you than I'm against you. I will only say this: the only thing that made me raise a little bit of questions, it wouldn't be a loss like this. I would challenge everybody to think back to how they lost against the Celtics the last time they played. And I keep bringing that game up in terms of Tatum versus AE or just what I've seen because that game, how they – with Mike Conley, how they offense stagnated against a good defense and how Ant just folded a little bit. I'm like, this is a – I'm not – it's not just a regular season game. These are two of the best players in the NBA, and there's conversations about you too. So Ant, Ant he's a dog. He hears that, and he wants to prove he's the best. He wants to prove he's everything he say he is. So I'm sure he took that game serious. So for him to fold like that in that type of a game – I was like, ah, okay. I wasn't off the – I'm not going to say I was on the train. I like watching the train go by. I wave at it. I say what's up to the Minnesota fan. It's like a fun <laughs> <Yeah>. train <laughs> going by. I love it. Chill town, let me know how it is. I love watching it. I'm not going to be on it. But I'm not going to just disregard it because of a loss like right. that. Oh, a, a loss right. like that against the Celtics. And damn sure not against a loss against the Hornets when Ant goes on record saying, oh, yeah, once he had 45 in, this, in the first half, we was letting our guy go for it. And I can understand a young team not being able to snap out of it, especially without mm -hmm. their veteran point guard there, to have them snap out of it of our right, game. We were up 15 when you was doing this. Now we're down one. Damn, you're scoring. Let's win. They didn't have that last night. They're a young team. They're still building. They're still running. This is a part of the process. I don't think anyone up here had them as a title team. So the stuff that they're doing and going through now, it's expected for a team making that transition from fringe playoff team, young guys looking great, trying to fulfill their potential, to now they're trying to be one of those guys be one of those teams in the league. This this type of stuff happens. That's a Damo, good I got I, good I got I got three things to say to this. Two are in response to you, Damo. One's in response to you, Chill. First off, Damo, you need to come to my side of the train tracks. See, we both watching the train. You just on the other side. On my side of the train tracks, we throwing tomatoes at the train. We flipping the bird. We telling them, "Boo, y'all suck." Because badass kids. It yeah, but it's fun. Uh, but that's on that side of the train tracks, Damo. You need to come over here. Secondly, um. I would actually say that the, the 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 Wolves are more of a veteran team than they are a young team. Based yes, on the guys are. that they play, yes, they got they, they start Mike Conley, one of the oldest players in the NBA. Rudy years. Gobert has been around for long enough, and he's he's had enough playoff runs. I think this is year eleven for Rudy Gobert. And and, mm. and Cat got to be in year seven. He's in year eight. Mm. And so Cat, I, I would Cat, that's in year eight. Kyle Anderson, he's been around long mm -hmm. enough. I think he's in year Shake six. Shake Milton's been around long enough. Now you could say Ant, Ant, um, Nas Reed, and uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Um, McDaniel's. 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 Mm -hmm. Ant, Nas Reed, and McDaniel's. You could say that they're the young players, but mm -hmm. I think McDaniel's has been around long you enough. Too. Oh no, no no no! I was thinking out loud. Uh, somebody right. in the chat uh -huh. said, "Yeah, uh, being a casual, he didn't play that game." Mike Conley didn't play in that Celtics game. I could have. I didn't realize. That. I thought he would have played. Rudy didn't either. Rudy didn't yeah. play that game. I. I Damn. Okay. Now yeah, I'm dead. I'm really not worried about him. Yeah, Rudy yeah. Go yeah. yeah see I'm what I'm with you, Ox. If, you, if you look, yeah. if you look at it, if you look at it, also, I mean, chill. You said it, Ron. You said it. You, you know, it's it's about you being insecure with this team. Um, I mean, you know, what I'm saying you found a number on the table, but in real, in all actuality, all that happened last night was somebody left their badass kids at home with no babysitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. They, <laughs> hey, some bad happened. <laughs> Something bad happened, you know. Like, like I understand, I understand Rudy Gobert is in year 11. We all we've all seen Rudy Gobert still plays around. He got a childish side to him still. Cat, he's not, you know, 
they, they was I, I think they, they was just having fun, man. They was just having fun, let cat go crazy, and it just it just looked way worse than it was. It, it, it's and a bad loss, though, big ox. It is. It's, 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 it's a stupid it, it, loss. It, it, it's a it's stupid a bad loss. loss. It is, and it it it, it this can't spill over to the rest of the stuff that's going on. Plus, the one thing that we don't talk about with the Minnesota Timberwolves, like a lot of people talk about their half court offense. Minnesota, with the athletes that they have, with the defense that they have, how fast they could be playing. They're one of the worst transition teams in the game. They mm -hmm. should be much better as a transition team. I think not, not one of the worst. I take that back. They're an average transition team. I think that they are 16th, 15th or 16th in the league in transition points. And that's largely due to those guys running to the long ball line when we get in transition. Nobody's running to the rim except for Rudy. Nobody's running to the rim to get easy buckets. Cat should be getting easier buckets. Ant should be getting easier buckets. Mike Conley in year 17 still speeds the game up, right? Still speeds the game up. Those guys should be getting a lot. Those guys should be getting easier buckets than what they get. Their defense is without question. That's the one thing that they do consistently. With them playing against Charlotte last night, don't get me wrong. They played that all the way wrong. They 100% played that all the way wrong. Sure, we want to get our big fella involved. And sure, we want to get our big fella going. Like Damo said, he should have went for 75 last night. But we still got to play our game, too. We can't just get wrapped up in what he's doing. We still got to play our game, too. And they didn't do that. See, Chill and Ox, I got to raise you guys one. Just, just slightly. <laughs> now, Chill, you said she left a number on the table. Ox, you said somebody left the badass baby kids at the crib with no babysitter. No supervision. See, for me, what Zero it more so feels like is <laughs> I started trying to give the Wolves a chance. I, I came back around. She was texting me. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, I'll be better. Just give me one more chance. All right. We go on a date. I'm seeing if she's mature. No, she still orders the biggest thing on the menu. All right, cool. No big deal. But No big deal. She still don't leave a tip. All right, uh, maybe she had a rough week. We go back to the crib. Her house still dirty. Nasty. Trash ain't taken out. Nasty. All, 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 all this type of stuff. The dishes done? No, so the house nasty. Stuff. The dishes ain't I, done. All right, so how she bag you in the first place? Now I'm gonna look at you like, hey, Ron, what you yeah, doing? What you, what, what you what doing? Hanging around? Yeah, I'll just. I, I, I got kicked out. I just needed somewhere to stay. Matter of fact, it was a late <laughs> night at the club. Then it was a late I night at the club, bed, man. I just need a bed for real. You know? uh, nigga said homosexual. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, we we don't need to worry about that. All we need to worry about is I'm starting to the, uh, the insecurities that I previously had. I'm starting to see no, they really haven't changed. I'm seeing this. These same bad characteristics are still there. And and I just I, come playoff time. I don't trust the wolves against. The Celtics against the Sixers against the Bucks. The oh, we're talking about Eastern Conference about the finals, teams. Wait, wait, huh? my bad. We're talking about Eastern Conference teams. I'm sorry. That's I don't a lot of trust. Them. I don't trust them against the Nuggets. I don't trust them against the Clippers. I, I they look. They have a better matchup against the Suns than anybody. And I don't trust them against the Suns. I don't trust them against the Kings. I don't trust them against the Lakers. I, I don't trust them against the Mavericks either. I'm not. I'm not jumping out the window. Let's chill out. They haven't given us. I'm not down. I'm not down to break up. I'm not jumping out the window. Get out the house. Pack your stuff. Easy. Let's chill out on that. But I am saying that yo, this we can't have this. We 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 this right here. We can't. No, we can't. I'm telling you, it's it's hard to trust Cat. It's very hard. It is 100. I'm out. I already. Anybody knows me knows I'm out. I trust. I trust Joel. I trust Joel more than Cat in the playoff show, too. I can get with that. Sure. I could definitely get with that logic. And mm -hmm. with that being said, I got one more clip to play from uh, Coach Finch. Uh, and then, Mars, I want to hear hear you what you think about this uh, this next clip. But Winner uh, sent a super chat earlier in the show. Sorry, bro. I didn't read it because I wanted to get to this topic when Damo got here. Uh, he mm -hmm. said, thoughts on what the Timberwolves coach said about Cat and the team last night. Do y'all agree or disagree with what he said? So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. This is the second clip that uh, Damo was telling us about. Y'all let me know how you feel about this. You know, obviously, we're going to try to feed a hot hand, look for a hot hand. But at some point, we got to get back to making the right play. We got to get back to doing the right things. Um, and, uh, you know, let's just, uh, like I said, there's a lot of ways to be immature. There's always a lot of ways to be immature. Um, and there was a lot of immature performances here throughout the, the roster. We totally disrespected the, the game ourselves. Um, and we got exactly what we deserve. So. Chris, Chris, did, did, did you, you also see, see I mean, did it turn into Carl, Carl trying to hunt, hunt like, like a, a, a big, big number? number. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, I mean but for a while, while it was, it was going. going. Um, but, you know, you know down the stretch, we, you know, uh, you know kind of dried, dried up, up for us. us but, but, um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
white. white. No, obviously, obviously, we're going to try to. Try to... Mars, how do you feel about that second clip and just the whole thing in general? He's right. I mean, they were they were trying to get well, I don't know if they were trying to get cat a hundred or cat was trying to get a hundred or whatever the case. But they were they were cat did everything in his power to get that game to overtime to boost as many, as much of his numbers as possible. That's my belief. Because cat was playing for the Charlotte Hornets in the fourth quarter. So um he with us. He with yeah, us. Cat was definitely playing for the Charlotte Hornets. Um but I don't think this is the reason f- if you're concerned about the Timbers, I don't think this game should be the reason why you're concerned about them. So I agree with Ox on that point. I have I see there's valid reasons to be concerned about them, but a Monday night game against the Charlotte Hornets, probably not the right one, in my opinion. So I don't take this game too seriously, but that cat 62 was ruined by his fourth quarter. I will say that. That's why it's not on the same level as like what Joel did or even what KD did last night, which hopefully we'll talk about at some point. Uh, yeah, that actually was was coming up next. Um, but before but before I talk about KD, I do want to just show you guys what I believe the cat was trying to do. Hold on. Give me give me a moment. Bear with me, guys. Uh, this is what Cat couldn't wait to do at the end of the game um, during the press conference with the team. Mm. He was dying to just be able to take this picture. This is all Cat wanted to do last night. <laughs> <laughs> he desperately couldn't oh. wait to do this. As a matter of fact, oh. did we see Joel Embiid's picture? I did. I saw it. Held him up 70. Mm. I've seen it. Um, and speaking speaking of which, um, this is a smooth transition into KD. But before we do that, he actually had something to say about uh, well, his reaction to Joel and Beat Seventy. Mm-hmm. Um, you saw Joel Beat score seventy. Cat had six. Seventy. Yeah, Joel had seventy today. Yeah, yeah seventy. So, what did nights like tonight mean? When you were Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> seven is a long yeah. way. Seven is yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? Uh, imagine you hit the podium after dropping 43 of some of the most ethical buckets we've ever seen. Uh, and you uh, sit down and they tell you, oh, yeah, Joel dropped 70 tonight. <laughs> like, <yeah>. like, what? <laughs> did, did I hear that right? Did y'all, did y'all see when he, because he said uh, Joel scored 70 and Cat scored 72. He didn't even hear Cat scored 72. 62. He was he was supposed to, I mean 62, my bad. He was supposed to lead with that. He was supposed to say Cat scored 62 and Joel scored 70. Because he didn't even hear that part. KD was tripping like I just other stuff, 40 man. back other to back. Yeah, you you hear you hear 70. You don't care about someone else yeah. 62. You're a peasant compared to me. He didn't even hear it. He was he was he was already reacting to hear uh the seven the 72 or the 70. He was already reacting. That's crazy. 70 is insane. 70s That's only happened 14 nuts, times, man. and seven of them were in the 60s. So really it's only happened seven times. That's how I'm yeah. viewing it. So shout out shout out yeah. to him, man. 70 is a lot of points, a hell of a lot of points. Hey, cause what, because uh, KD just had 43 to 40 or 40 yeah. to 43. He just, he's, just, you know, he's doing his thing right now. So he was probably just like you said, he was feeling, you know, feeling himself and hurt that like no way. Yeah. KD <laughs> over the last two games is only 13 points ahead of Embiid last night. Think about <laughs> he's that. averaging 41 and a half. Mm. Like, yeah, 70, 70 is, uh, that's, that's, that's a, lot a pretty big deal. KD was like, what? What'd you just say? <laughs> I didn't hit. Did I hear that correctly? Huh? <laughs> And so for those who don't know, last night, KD had 43 points, eight assists, six rebounds. Uh, and he did it in uh, actually a clutch fashion because they were down 20 points to the Bulls. They were down the whole game mm-hmm. and came storming back in the fourth quarter. We we thought they were going to lose. We, we thought it was no no way they, they came back. We went over to the Kings and uh, Kings in Atlanta game. Was watching that for five minutes. All of a sudden, somebody typed in the chat, yo, the Suns are down four now. And then it was like, uh oh! And all of a sudden, we flip back over there, and KD got thirty eight. And it's like, oh, that's what happened. KD happened. Yeah, KD and- started slow, and then all of a sudden, he's the best scorer in the NBA again. That's it was. Also, shout out to Caruso's defense, even though KD still made the shot at the end of the game. That was still great defense from Caruso. 
So shout out to him. I want I want to give Caruso his credit. Um, he was playing very good defense the whole game. KD just better, unfortunately. But shout out to Caruso. See, hey, hey Matt, uh, March is is um Levine is Levine like benched or they icing him right now or is he hurt? What's going on? Uh, he came back, was on the bench for a couple games, then got put back in the starting lineup. Then he got re injured. I don't know if he, uh, I don't know um, okay. how long or how severe it was, but he got he got re injured. Not too Even long. healthy for a straight, huh? I like it. I like mm, it. Totally, totally, totally. I can't comment too much on that game last night because I didn't watch it. I'd be lying if I said I did. So I can't comment too much on it. But if I know anything about KD, it was. Probably another master class sitting in the mid range, uh, in transition, and KD being KD. I again, I didn't see it, so I, I, I can't comment on it. But if he went for 43, and in the words of Damo, the buckets were ethical, it was probably a master class of you know, one on one showman who can't cover me. I get whatever I want, whenever I want, wherever I want, and there's nothing that you can do about it. And I, I, I did see. A stat line that uh, that book only had five assists, which I still it it, it just bothered it, it it concerns me. It doesn't bother me. Let me rephrase that. It concerns me because I just know the difference between a passer and a guy who can pass. And book is a guy who can pass. And the same logic that you was just talking about, Big Ox, about mm-hmm. Mike Conley not playing last night, that's going to be a problem for this Phoenix team moving forward in the playoffs. That's didn't but didn't problem. didn't Bill didn't Brad have five assists too though? And Did KD he? had eight. Yeah, so I mean they they moving it's, the ball. They, that, that, that was that was a that the team, was the team had thirty two assists. Yeah, the team had thirty two yeah. assists. The yeah, team that, that was that if, was a committee team. That was moving that was moving that rock. If we could if if you could get that kind of production on a nightly basis, mm-hmm. if you could get that even when the game slows down, yeah, they're gonna be. They, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't help but feel like you're trying to nitpick the Suns and find reasons I don't, why they won't I, be I, successful, I, Chilltown. I can't I, help, I can't help but feel like you are doing this to the Suns. Like, I'm not that, was a, that was a great game, Chilltown. I didn't see it. I, I, I can't, I, I can't comment on what happened last night. No, 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 no. I can't because okay. I, because, because I, I didn't see what happened last night. But I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the dark. I'm not in the dark about the Phoenix Suns. I don't think they got a lead guard, and I think that's going to come and bite them later on. I do. I'm I think a, that's going to be a problem later on. I'm gonna play a couple clips right now so we could just see what happened last night. Um uh and we could just kind of put everything together. Obviously, it's not gonna show the full game, but it's gonna yep. show kind of a little bit of what happened. Right. Let me see. Let me see. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I a hey, hey, big ox, listen, man. I mm-hmm. don't, I don't I like I said, I didn't see the game last night, so I know that. I can't comment on what Bradley Beal did. I can't comment on what KD did. I just saw that KD had 43. And like right, I said, if right. I know anything about KD, and if, if if that's what he said, he had 43, it was probably a masterclass of him sitting in the mid-range, not just him sitting in the mid-range, him doing whatever he wanted one-on-one, because that's what KD is. He's a bucket getter. And you can't do anything to stop him. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, you can't do nothing to stop this dude. But my my issue with the with the with the Phoenix Suns from the beginning of the season to this day has been health, and they don't have a they don't have a primary distributor. So, all right, here's the first clip. This is just KD. Obviously, you can see the score is one eleven to one ten. The Bulls are up, and this this game went down to the wire. This is KD right here. Through with the offensive glass. KD, that's cash. Away. Yep, mm. that's cash. Mm. Mm. That's cash. I miss, I, I miss OKC, KD. Okay, All right, I got one more for you because, mm-hmm. believe it or not, it wasn't just KD down the stretch. Mm-hmm. It was another player on the Chicago Bulls. And I know you guys give him a lot of slack, but he balled last night. Well, at least during the, the um, you know, end of the game, down the stretch. DeMar DeRozan hit clutch bucket after clutch bucket, and this was one of them. There's the Rosen to tie the game. Got it. Got it. Hey, and honestly, I I really think the Rosen could help a lot of teams. I was about a to say that. Every, everyone's talking. I'm not everyone, but there's a lot of noise around Zach Levine getting traded off the Bulls. Man, a team could go out there and snatch up a DeMar DeRozan and really help themselves if they're trying to make a push. Or if they're trying, he could be a difference maker for some guys. Um, yeah. And chill, just to speak on the. 
the playmaking thing for the Suns. First thing, let me just say, Kevin Durant, most ethical hooper in the league right now, and I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking for – he has dropped – what 83 in the past two games with, as five, it, free 80, with five free throws? That's crazy. That's ethical oh, bucket. That's crazy. <laughs> I love it. There's nothing I love more that than ethical buckets. So cold. KD, absolutely hands down king of ethical buckets as of right now in the NBA. I love it. No slander to him. All all praise. Great series of games. Keep it up. This team could be a threat. Hey man, like we said last episode, I had you number one going into the season. Remember that. But um, I'm not going. I, I'm not going to lie to you in terms of the playmaking load and the assists. I, I think seeing how they had Bradley Bill and Devin Booker going into the season, and it was the conversation of who's going to be the point guard, it's just going to be playmaked by committee. And I do think that is something that can happen on a nightly basis and keep it going. All three of those guys control the pace. All three, I'm not going to say all three. One, conversation about Kevin Durant if you want, but Bradley Bill and Devin Booker both are secondary playmakers. They can definitely get guys open. They can definitely control the pace, control what they're doing, and everything will be absolutely fine. You don't necessarily need a guy that's going to go out there, average eight, nine cents, and be the point guard. You have two great phenomenal ISO scores, two great phenomenal shooters who can also give you five to six assists every night, any given night, together. I, I, I think it'll work out just fine. When you think about the teams that have won it, so last year, Joker was – the offense ran through Joker. He was their distributor, and it worked the year before that. Draymond was the guy for the Golden State Warriors. He's never really been a bucket getter, but he was their playmaker in their, in their distributor that work. I mean, I think this was in a little bit of an outlier because that was by committee because Drew Holiday isn't a nine, ten assist guy, but he was a defender. I think that team was predicated on, on defense more than anything. With the Lakers, they had James. He's a distributor. And then Kyle Lowry. But with, with Curry, they had – I mean, I'm sorry, with the Warriors, they had Draymond. So when I think about the great teams – They've had a, a pace setter, not just a pace setter, a playmaker, and a guy who, when the game gets help to skelter, because the game is going to slow down in the playoffs. Not only is the game going to slow down in the playoffs, when guys get keyed on, Bradley Beal gets keyed on, Book gets keyed on. Don't get me wrong, you're never going to be able to slow down uh, Kevin Durant, and I don't, ar- I don't argue that at all. But when the game gets help to skelter, and Minnesota hasn't scored in two or three trips. Mike Conley is the guy that's you over here. You slow down. And I'm, I'm, I worry about that with Phoenix more than anything. I don't worry about the buckets because they get plenty of those. KD is the I'm, – I'm, I'm actually on that Mars train where I don't see a world is, is around. I don't see a world where KD doesn't average 25 a game. I don't see that. But with that being said, I do feel like that there's room for just a, just, just a floor leader. But a here's lot of those KD's- Real, real quick, it, it, uh, some of those teams you named and mentioned, they also had another guy that could do that as well. That Lakers team also had Rondo, who was going out there and also being a pace setter and also being a playmaker alongside right. LeBron, with LeBron, and when LeBron's off the court. With that Nuggets team, Jamal was a bucket. He also was setting up plays as well. He averaged right. seven assists that playoff run. He's another guy that with Jokic and when Jokic is off the court, even if Mars will tell you that uh, the plus-minus merchant, Mike Malone, was just set up Jamal Murray and not set up Jokic. but Jamal Murray was still – he's another guy that can set the pace as well. You can have a guy that does it to a lesser degree. You can still have a team where it runs through this player. With the Warriors, I mean, other guys – Steph is still setting guys up too as well. Steph is still playmaking. Um, Steph's still getting guys together. Even though Draymond is deemed the guy initiating the offense, there's still other guys doing it. This can be another instance of that team as well, of a team like that. Uh, this is KD's game-winning shot last night. For those of you who didn't see it, here we go. That's something that's typical, KD. That's just good offense. <clears throat> being good. A double clutch. Typical pull up at that elbow is crazy. If he doesn't double clutch, that Caruso blocks that. Just Caruso that blocks that. Every one hundred percent, Caruso gets to that. If he doesn't yeah, move that out of the way, thing. if he doesn't move that out of the way, Caruso gets to that. He was all over him. That's crazy. Like Neil Patrick Lord. really was being right there too. Like that's irrelevant. If you're in front of KD, it's irrelevant. He, he doesn't even see. You. He's all hey. over him. <laughs> Dude, I didn't. I didn't even see that double clutch to this right there. That's hey. just crazy. You guys know what that reminds me of? Chill, you know what that reminds me of. Hell yeah. Was in that? This, that was in Cleveland? Yeah. Jordan, yeah. Yeah. Say, Jordan yeah. Uh, and, and Craig Elo. That's Yo, look, look like. at that. Yeah. Mm. Just, Yo. move, just move the ball hey, out I can't, of the I can't wait I to see that edit. I can't wait to see that edit. Mm. 
Somebody gonna edit that. That's gonna be dope. Ooh, we oh, got all right, Katie. That was, that was tough. No, I'm, ta I'm talking about the edit. You, you know, the edit when yeah. they put Katie them is, together Katie and stuff phenomenal. like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, somebody has oh, yeah. to make that now. Yeah, that's I, fine. Now I can't unsee it. Now that Ron brought it up, yeah. I can't unsee it. Hey, hey Ron, Dennis, play that one more time. He doesn't know why he's going to go for that. He did say that. I did yeah. see him say that, and I laughed. He did say that. Yes, he did say that. Why, but if Paul, if Paul George, y'all was just talking about Paul George being. A lot of these young people's go and stuff like that. If Paul George can even sneak into this conversation for even just a specific generation, if Paul George can get that type of love, there's no reason why KD should not be in this conversation. Well, I, I know. I, what you what you say, Mars? I don't think KD is up there. So that's one person. I oh, okay. Well, and, yeah, but I'm I'm talking about just in, in the general conversation when when we talk when you know when we talk about it we we're just hanging out. I don't, it's no reason why KD can't be in it if Paul George can even sneak in. And that's even if it's just for a small generation of people. Well, first of all, who does, who who realistically has Paul George in the GOAT conversation? Now, don't get me wrong. I've heard you youngsters guys, do. I, I've, I've heard you guys say that Paul George is the perfect basketball player. I have heard that, but I don't think in terms of the, in, in terms of the GOAT conversation, I mean, I don't know about that. I haven't, I, I, Paul George is not in the GOAT conversation. And as far as, as far as KD, is, is this KD, KD's resume, does your resume stack up against James? Does your resume stack up with Jordan? Does your resume stack up with Jabal? Does your resume stack up with Russell Chamberlain? Does your resume stack up with Magic? No, it does not. No, it does not stack up with Larry yeah. Bird. No, Kevin, no it Kevin does Durant's not. Resume kind of does, Chilton. You let's, got let's, let's, okay, you got the reason, the reason people think KD's resume doesn't stack up is because they don't respect the two championships he has. I but respect we, those. We, but wait, wait. Let's not I, let's, I let's not let's not even talk about whether we respect them or not. Let's just go just resume. And what I'm not talking about any any falsified documents. I'm talking about right. real resume. Everything this we is on paper. Do. This oh, is already on documents are falsified. No, nah, nah, But that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so it's not it's not a conversation. It's not talking about. It. It's just resume next to resume. We don't know who the player is. That resume belongs in, in the same category. He got two so, finals MVPs. So is that what we're talking four, about? So four, are we just talking about titles, 13 all-star teams, two rings, two finals MVPs, 10 all NBA teams, so scoring MVP. titles. That's that's a resume that stacks up oh. with guys like Hakeem and For sure. Shaq, maybe right. those magic. Guys. Those guys but aren't in the goal. Those I'm gonna say what yeah, those like, guys. the guys that are in the goat conversation, does his resume stack up to those guys? Because that's no. who you're comparing him to. You wouldn't no. compare his resume. To somebody like Larry Bird, uh, Hakeem, Shaq, because those guys are are routinely five, six, seven, eight, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's a norm now. The top three of the guys in the conversation, and honestly, people are starting to have the conversation. Is it just the top two? But the top three normally, I, uh, I said it on the pod last night. The bar is Kareem. If you can't. If you can't compete with Kareem's resume, you're not in the conversation. I'm sorry. I, respectfully, I, I, who can compete I, I, with Kareem's resume? Yeah, no one. No one and who can be the goal? It's a small conversation. That's well, well, yeah, I, 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 I think I think KD's looking at it like, yeah, you guys talk about the accolades and the comfort and stuff, but the people who play the game who aren't mm -hmm. looking at, oh, this guy has this many rings and this many MVPs, who are just looking at, put me as a basketball player next to anyone. And KD thinks he can sit at that table. You put me next to LeBron, and we put, you put us both on the court. KD's like, I'm I'm right there with LeBron. I've been right there with LeBron for ten years. Put me next to Kobe. Put me next to Mike. Put me next to Shaq. Whoever. I sit at that table with those guys. That's why I think KD's looking at. Now, if you want to go, well, this guy has five MVPs. KD, you got one. This guy has four Finals MVPs. You only have two. This, if you want to go that that route, yeah, have that conversation. Right. But I don't think KD. That's not the like. From all from I've a heard basketball KD. standpoint, I from think all I've heard from KD, KD doesn't care about that. He's saying, I, I believe him. KD might be saying I'm wrong. But mm -hmm. I believe KD is looking at it from, there's no feasible way in his mind that you can look at a guy like Kareem or Shaq or Hakeem or even LeBron. Maybe Mike and Kobe is a bit of an exception because I know how he feels about those guys. But mm -hmm. everyone else, there's no way you're looking at me and saying, I can't stand with those guys. That's how I think he's viewing it. He's like, why aren't and I standing fine. with those guys? And, and, guys? and that's fine. But don't ask us. Don't ask the people why we're not having the conversation you want to have because that's not how the conversation's had. Mm -hmm. We're not having the, the average fan, the average analytics guy, the average whoever. The norm has been, if we're talking about greatest of all time, that is your resume, sadly. And that's been the normal thing. That If you want to change how we have the conversation and change it to what I say is the boat argument, the boat conversation. That's why it's a goat list. You've said that before. Now, You've I'm said telling that you, basketball the best of all time and the greatest of all time. You, yeah, I'm, two I'm, different trying conversations. To, I'm, I'm trying to get on that. It's, I'm trying to get on that train. Different conversations, and I would love to sit there with Kevin Durant and, and tell that to him. Hey, gang, if we're talking about the best basketball players of all time, 
I don't want – you're the greatest offensive player I've ever seen, so I'll fight for you in that conversation. You're in that conversation of best – hands down best hooper. You got it. You're in that conversation. Greatness is attributed to accolades, things you have accumulated to set yourself apart from the rest. There have been plenty of guys to average 20 points, 25 points in the season. But there's levels to this when you talk about the guys that won doing it, the guys that made all-stars doing it, the guys that like teams doing it, things like that, things change. If Kevin Durant doesn't want to have a conversation like that, fine, Kevin, start a podcast, talking with the big one, whatever you want to call it, and then start pulling over Sean McCants and having the conversations you want to have, how you want to have them. Start – Start doing nah. what you want to do. On nah, your own pull up Ticket TV. TV. <laughs> Forget Rashad McCann. Pull so, up. So, yeah. and, and, and that's why he said he hates how we talk basketball. He said that. He said that too low. He said that. He said he hates the way. I'm gonna say low. yes in that in that space he, low. And that's why I know for a fact what you're saying is not wrong. He definitely yeah. looks at it as roll the ball on the court. Who's a better basketball player? I feel like I'm better than everybody, which he should, and that's fine. That's just not how the whole conversation is had. Oh, and that's not. why he hates the way people talk about basketball because hey, they don't talk about him like that. That's why. Underdog sports. Let it, hey, let him go on there. And well, I agree with him. I don't, I don't care about the athletes either. So I'm standing with KD. KD, I'm with hey, you. I, I, I think you'll be a great host on that show, Mars. You, hey, you'll be oh, a great host. Oh, no, no, no. KD don't like me because I said Zion wasn't top 30. Yeah. I just feel like I, I have a, Damo, I, I understand your, I, I actually, I don't understand it. That's why I, I wanted to have a conversation with you about best of all time and greatest of all time. Because I always felt like, you know, the best basketball player logic. My production is a result of my skill set. My skill set is me as a basketball player. That's what makes me awesome. So I can't differentiate the two between the best basketball player and the greatest of all time because the best basketball player has been outplayed. So I can't differentiate those two. I would never say. I mean, that, I, I, I feel like that's where the that's where the divide comes in because I've seen better basketball players get outplayed. That's why this guy isn't undisputed the best basketball player in the world because he got outplayed by this guy. That's why this guy is the best basketball player, or this is this guy is the greatest because he did this. Well, he did this as a result of his skill set. That's what that, his skill set produced this. So what I mean when I say that is you as a ball player, my production is the result of my skill set. Don't get me wrong. I can appreciate being on a team and, 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 and utilizing my skill set. But there are guys who've been basketball players who haven't utilized their skill set to their advantage. I, I would look at it like this. I always said Hakeem Olajuwon is the best center in NBA history. That's just in terms of skill set, in terms of ability, things to do, what you want from a center. I, I said Hakeem is the bar. He's the standard. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the GOAT at center. He's the GOAT center because of the resume that Kareem has, everything like that. I think I, I think if you match him up, I mean, and maybe I need to go back and watch 70s ball or whatever, but peak for peak, I would say I think Hakeem is better but Kareem, hands down, longevity, the titles, the MVPs, every, high school, college, all that, that resume, the accumulated things he's done over the time of span he's played basketball makes him the GOAT. It, it, that, that makes him the GOAT in terms of centers. He's done the most. But Hakeem is still better. That's how I look, That's how I differentiate it, and that's how I look at it going forward. So a couple things real quick, Damo. So like you just talked about peak for peak. So Jabal had an eight-year stretch from 69 to 77 where he went 30 and 15. They didn't mm -hmm. count blocks until his fourth year in the league. So he they, they didn't, about five. Yeah. So so he didn't they, they didn't they, they didn't count blocks until his fourth year. He was one of the best transition players. Lajuan, on the other hand, had a 10-year stretch where he went 25, almost 14, and almost four blocks. Now 30, 15, 25, almost 14, and four blocks. Won the NBA championship. Like I said, this is the stuff that I'm producing with my skill set. Jabal had the most unstoppable shot in NBA history. Sure, Olajuwon. I'm on record saying if Olajuwon is on the board and you pass on him, you are fired on the spot. You are fired if you pass on him. But I can't. production has always mattered to me. Some people don't really care about it because, again, they, uh, Maz and I have had this conversation. It's not that Maz doesn't care about production. Maz cares about basketball play, like your, your ability as a basketball player. I care a little bit more about production. I don't really... You, you, you being a basketball player, it comes a, it comes a little bit behind that. But with that being said, with, with that being said, I still feel like your production, what you produce as a basketball player matters to me. And how you how you affect your unit winning games matters to me. It's always mattered to me. Fellas, uh, just to wrap up this conversation, I do want to say to KD, if you want a seat at the GOAT table or if you want to be mentioned in the GOAT conversation more, brother, your career isn't over. Mm -hmm. Lead them Phoenix Suns and get a ring this year. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And I promise you, the narrative of your whole career absolutely changes. Like, I, that's all KD is away from it. And he, KD still got three or four more years to, to end up doing that, I believe. <clears throat> You're going to get some people, though, Ron, that's going to be like, well, he played here and he had to do this. And it's, it's always going to be some goofies. It is. It's, it's going to be that, but he's going to be mentioned in the conversation a whole lot more. J Jabal, as, as much as I love Jabal. Jabal was on a bomb squad. Let's not act like Jabal was playing with good players. That's he was fact, on a bomb squad fact. too. Let's mm -hmm. not let's not let's not act like Michael Jordan wasn't on a bomb squad. Michael Jordan was on a bomb squad. So let's not act like he was just running around with good players. No. So I mean that happens with everybody. Bill Russell was on a bomb squad. So yeah. I All think right, this so one, this will be the one though, uh um Chelsea. This will be the one that kind of just kind of silences that a little bit because you know that's how come he's gotten so much hay already. And right. got to get one more. We got a gang of super chats, so I got y'all right now. Uh, for the ten dollars super chats, uh, hit forty four said D book coach praised his stat padding seventy in a blowout. Laughing emojis. Cat can't catch a break. Laughing. And since we're on the subject, I'm glad I got Dama up here because I asked him to pass that earlier in the in the in the in the, in the podcast. Since we on the subject, Damo, last year both Damian Lillard and Devin Booker went for seventy. Don't hey, 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 Joel, Joel and B, do, 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 do we need to do we need you to come in this office and you know piss in this cup? Do we need you to do that, my man? Because because they, they 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 do we need a vial of your blood? Because again, big ox, we can appreciate you being awesome. We got to make sure you ain't too awesome, though. That's what we got to make sure of. Because they did that with that. One more time. Oh, 100 percent test them. Yes, test them. Because they did that with Donovan Mitchell. We can't do we can't just appreciate that a guy is awesome. We got to make sure you ain't too awesome. Joel and beat on the juice. <laughs> Which is not I don't think you gotta, I don't think you gotta be on the juice to give uh Wimby 70 with that skill set. I'm not gonna and Wimby had a good game too. And yeah, he did, he thing. did, absolutely. Wimby dropped 33 and almost 10. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I ain't gonna lie, a little bit more free throws than Joel, but I'm not, I mean, not uh -oh. more free throws than I want to say. We're a little bit unethical over here. We're a little bit unethical over here. It's hard, it's hard to deal with Joel and B, but. I don't want people to think that George went out there and kicked Wimby out. Wimby gave him 33. As that's a rookie, good. that's, that's good. what people will say is the best center in the league. You did just, hey, Wimby, you did good. Keep your head held high. I know it's not a 62-point loss, but you right. still had 33 against Joel and B. You can hang your hat on that. That's not something right. easy to do. Right. MP13 said, I've watched 10 T-Wolves games, and for some reason, the way their offense leaves me, the way they run their offense leaves me concerned. Their stretches, these stretches, these stretches where they can't score and ant settling for contested mids isn't playoff ball. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the reason why it is, the, the, the stretches where they can't score is one thing. But ant settling for stretch ant, ant settling for contested mids, you're not gonna get open mids. But the great ones knock those down. Kobe Bryant knocked down open mids. Jordan, I mean, Jordan knocked down contested mids. Kobe Bryant knocked down contested mids. That's why you work on that in the offseason. That's not something. Listen, my man, when you get to the playoffs, it gets harder. You, the open shots you get, you have to knock those down. That doesn't mean that you can't knock down contested shots neither. Uh, my man, Culture Saunders sent through a super chat. He said, show that last shot Katie made. It was crazy. That was it was crazy. Impressive. Shout out, KD. Impressive. And, and once again, he poured on a lot. I think he only had like 13 at halftime, some, something, something around there. So in the second half, he absolutely went ballistic and put him on his back. So shout out to KD balling right now. Let's see how, how long they can continue going. Suns are on a six-game winning streak at the moment as well. Meanwhile, uh, the hottest team in the league is? The Cleveland Cavaliers. Jonathan Isaac can't play. Why didn't come? <laughs> oh. We're gonna we're gonna do a trade deadline. We're gonna grade all the trade deadline targets as well. Um, but Mars, I do want to ask you before we do that and get to that episode. Do you think Jonathan Isaac is a player that teams should be targeting? I mean, if you're a contender, why not have someone who can play 15 minutes with the best defense you've ever seen? I don't, I don't see the problem. Right? If, you, like if you're the Clippers, yeah, if you're the Clippers or the Bucks, hey, we got a guy who can only play 15 minutes, but for 15 minutes he's gonna be the best defender of all time. There you go, take him. I don't think it'll cost that much. Um, okay. You don't have to play him 30 minutes a game if you're a contender. So him playing 15 minutes situationally against certain teams and certain matchups. So that's a great pickup. I, I would go all in for Jonathan Isaac personally if I was like a team like the Clippers or the Bucks, maybe even the Denver Nuggets, those type of teams. Denver Nuggets, he'll be nice on the Nuggets. I like that. 
All right, NLF said Book only got five assists, but he was controlling the pace well in the fourth. My problem is when he's in PG mode, he becomes too passive. No reason why he should be the only, why he should only be taking eleven shots, especially when you made six. KD shooting, that's why. So we don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, you can't just you make shots pair out of nowhere. I mean, yeah, you don't got, I don't, I don't got, I don't got time to be forcing them shots. Man, that's one of the best scores of all time over there. Let that man if, cook. If, if, KD's got, taking, if KD's taking 32, the <laughs> teams on average take about what 85 shots a game. KD's taking a third of the shots right there. So you got like, you can't just make shots appear up in there. See, so, when, who's who's sent, who sent that uh, super chat, right? You still because whoever that was, you need to understand, like. It's not. It's not. You you got to respect Devin Booker for for having the the, the patience. I, I feel like that's a good thing he showed by only shooting. Well, he said eleven shots. Yeah, because I'm I'm showing that I don't have to shoot shoot all the shots. I, I respect. That I got Kevin Durant on my team. Yeah, I'm gonna score. I'm, I'm gonna be efficient. Six for eleven. That's that's good right there. I Facts. did my that's, job. That's that's what Ant was doing last night. Facts. And on right. top of that, to Moss's point, KD is not a high volume scorer. That's not him. So if KD shoots the ball 32 times, he got it going. KD definitely got it going if he shoots the ball 32 times. Man, I meant they're... to say that earlier, too, in response to him only getting four scoring titles. Theoretically, KD should probably have like six or seven, maybe even eight. If he if he was just to be like, if he was a, a selfish player, KD easily could have a bunch more scoring titles. But KD mm. plays within the team. He plays within himself. And for somebody who scores as good, you would it's weird to say that you think he should be more aggressive because he is aggressive, but he also isn't. I don't it's it's weird with KD. Yeah, with I KD. also want to add on. Oh, my fuck. Go ahead. No, no, no. For sure, for sure. Oh, I was about to say, um, oh, when it when it comes to Devin Booker and this whole not taking as many shots or taking more shots. If he was taking more shots, y'all would talk about him like he Luca playing with Ky uh Kyrie. Because you would think that Luca is purposely trying to taint Kyrie's legacy the way. I've heard people talk about how Kyrie's being done an injustice with his lack of shots and playing within a system. So that's how they would talk about Kevin Durant. That's how they would talk about Devin Booker. If Devin Booker was like, nah, it's still my team. I'm D Book. No, he's playing within the system. He's playing with another all-time great. Let's not forget, this is the same guy that got the chance to play with Chris Paul and helped take Chris Paul to his first finals. So he's learned from two of the best players of hell, my era of basketball uh, growing up watching hoops. He's just soaking it in, and I think that's good. He's student of the game. He's been a student of the game since day one. Tyson Chandler said that on his uh, podcast. Pimp named Slickback said, laughing my ass off. KD can say whatever he wants. His actions don't back up his words. If he was just a hooper, he wouldn't have moved locations to win titles. He says he says it doesn't phase him, but actions say otherwise. You still enjoy winning. No. Wow. You can still just no. want to, you can still not care about the accolades and still care about wanting to win the game. First of all, I, hey, I got a question. Why do these dudes act like these dudes don't listen to them? They care. And KD cares, just like Jordan care, just like Jabbar care. All of these dudes care. All of them do. There's a Who's reason why. Everyone? Oh, they all do. Do not uh, yeah. give me a break. Not yes, everyone. they do. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I'm, I don't think Jimmy Butler no. cares. Jimmy Buffett Yo, what is this? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what. Let me, let me tell you why I think he cares. I'll tell you why I think he cares, Moss. The reason why I think he cares is because I've seen Jimmy Butler go off on guys, right? I've seen Jimmy Butler go off on guys. And in the process of Jimmy Butler going off on guys, years later, where we are now in 2024, in 15 years, when somebody says, a hey, Buckets, you wasn't better than DeMar DeRozan, he's going to lose it. He's going to flip out. A buckets, you wasn't better than Rip Hamilton. Buckets, you weren't better than this guy or that guy. He's gonna flip out. These guys care about this way more than you give them credit for, Mars. They no, no, I, I was talking about they don't care about like I don't think Jimbala cares about making an all NBA team or well, he doesn't care about it now because he made it five times already. But I can tell you right now, Mars, if he didn't make it and years years that later, would mess up his money, yeah, because I would mess up his money. That's or they would. Well, not only mess up his money, Mars, don't think for one second that they don't look at these dudes like, I'm better than him. This dude is Yeah, but I don't think they need an all-NBA team to see that. And maybe it's maybe it's because, I, me personally, I know I don't care. If I won an award, I didn't care. Like, me, I don't need someone else to recognize how good I am. I know how good I am. I don't care about these awards. I don't care about what, what what's, what's that fat guy on ESPN who has the votes. I don't care about him. 
I don't I don't care about his vote on the awards and he, how good he thinks I am. So like me personally, I view it from that perspective. I'm not I'm not saying none of them care. I'm saying I know all of them don't care. Like I I I know there's people who don't care. I don't think Jokic cares. I genuinely don't think Jokic cares about someone voting him for an MVP or voting him first team or second team against Joel Embiid last year. I, I don't I don't I don't think he cares about that. So um, Brian Windhorst is the fat guy on ESPN. I was talking about. I couldn't remember. Yeah, that's out of pocket, Mars. I was about to say this. He, he's a he's a fat guy on ESPN. He's a fat guy on ESPN. There's nothing wrong that's with being fat. Mars fat. knows him. Yeah, that, uh, I couldn't remember his <laughs> name, but yeah. Like I like I don't I don't think I don't think Jokic is like oh yeah Brian Windhorst doesn't think I'm the MVP. <laughs> Let me start getting these triple doubles so I can prove him. I don't think he cares. Like I I do think there is a lot of people who do care, and MJ has said it. It pissed him off when Charles Barkley won MVP over him. It pissed him off when Karl Malone won it over him. I understand some people care. I'm not saying no one cares, but I also think there's players who don't care. I think I it's more than some. Whereas I think I think the majority do care than those that don't. That, most, and most, and people, most people. That's possible. It's, it's not, not. It's not. I, don't, I, just I, don't, know, I just know they don't all care. That's what I'm yeah. saying. No, for you, sure. You for sure not, they you, don't all, but more more of them do than don't. Though I mean, most most of the people that got to that level, that got to that level, due to their level of competitiveness. So mm -hmm. I think I think they all. I think more more often than not, you're you're oh, you're checking what did he do tonight? What did he? As a matter of fact, I would say upwards of ninety percent of the guys care. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, very possible. That's how Jordan got as good as he did. That's why James. Mm -hmm. got it as might, good as, that's, that's why all of these guys got as good as they did. So, it might, it might be one or two guys on each team, and some of those guys are guys that are on the bench that we don't really, you know, think too much about. That actually don't care. I'm thinking, you know, more more often than these guys want to be better than the other guy, and you know, it's 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 the social media area. Era. Everybody sees what's going on. They're listening to what people think about them. You know. The that's, great that's, ones care. I think they care. Yeah. I think they care. That's, more that's about the the I, think they, I think they care more about the opinion of their peers than the media and the fans. yeah, yeah. But their peers, they're in. I'm, I'm saying their peers are talking too. Everybody's talking, so they're, they're listening. Yeah, to like, man, I, what you that, I don't, I don't, I don't think NBA players care if I think Giannis is better than Jokic. You know, I don't think Jokic is looking at this like, he, oh, Mars thinks Giannis is better than me. Let me prove it. I don't, I don't think he cares. I, well, Mars, I, I don't, I don't think, think, I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares. I understand what you're saying, but I don't think it's so much the fact that you're saying it. He doesn't. You, you're right. He doesn't care about us personally, but the fact that anybody is saying it is a problem. He doesn't care. He doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like he's looking at us like, oh, I care with this human being. It's a fact that anybody who's out here saying that this person is better than me, yeah, they got a problem with that much because mm -hmm. because they're real hoopers and, and they're really and they're really competitive about this. And then hoopers, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what they do. So they're definitely any any it's like a painter. Painters are the same way. Like, oh well, no, nah, my picture's better, or whatever it may be. These competitors, they're competitors, bro. I'm I'm uh, the more and more we talk about it, I'm kind of feeling like nah, like more, more, a lot more of them care than don't. Yeah. Great well, you, you I, guys, because I, I live by the ideology: don't take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. So, as an NBA player, if I'm in the NBA, if some random person is criticizing my game or saying this person's better than me, I genuinely don't care what you think about me. If right. my peers know how good I am, like a KD, if my peers know how good I am, and no, none of my peers have ever said anything about how bad I am. Russell mm. Westbrook the same. No one has ever spoke disparagingly about Russell Westbrook in the league. No one ever. But the fans right. and the media were calling him a cancer to teams, saying he was like a vampire, saying he's going to be out of the NBA. I don't. I genuinely don't think Russ is valuing their opinion over people who actually are <laughs> in the locker room with him, who appears in the NBA, who have all respected him. Now, I think when you cross a certain boundary in terms of disrespecting his name, his family, yeah, he's going to care because that's crossing the line. But I genuinely don't think Russ cares that Domo doesn't like him. And I know yeah. you're not saying put a name on it, but I'm just I saying hope I he does. Right. I don't think these NBA players care about what we think more than they care about what the peers think. And the peers don't vote for these awards like MVP. Now, back when they mm -hmm. did, maybe those awards held more weight in the NBA. When the players were voting for Kareem to win the MVP, even when he was missing the playoffs, maybe those awards meant something to them. But now, I don't think a lot of these guys care as much about a lot of the awards. Now, MVP yeah. might be different, but like all NBA first team versus second team, I don't, I don't the, think. the reason I, the reason I said that more is mostly is because like when you say it's their peers, so what's that make like another four hundred and fifty guys, like another four fifty that can care? Mm -hmm. And I just think they they care about the opinion of you know four or five million more than the you know or not more than, but I you know I, I still think they hear it a lot and they want because they want they want them to everybody didn't feel that way, so you know they're, they're playing against them and they respect them, but at the same time it's it's eighteen thousand twenty thousand people in this in these crowd in these crowds every night. And like they want everybody to know that I'm doper than him. Like I don't, I don't want any. And yeah, I get what you're saying. Like I might, I might not really trip. Like, oh, how could you say that? But I'll still be like, come on, bro. You, are you not watching this? Like, 
I'm doing Plus, him every time. Every time I see him, I'm giving it to him. Pause. My bad. My bad. My bad. No, you good. Bad. You good. You good. You good, big guy. Chill Plus, out, bro. But I'm Mary. saying, like, come on, bro. Keep going. It's it's basketball. I'm I'm out here to I'm out here to kill him. Like, so if if you if somebody in the crowd, if everybody if, if you know, like, if you watch if you getting cooked, you like everybody watching me get cooked. That's the that's the main reason right there. That's why that's why a lot of these guys were talking about oh it's not the same the bubble this and that because nobody's watching so if everybody's if if it's born to play when nobody's watching or it's not real hoop or it's a Disney ring then how how do the spectators not not count as far as what they think so that's the only reason I it's not really a big deal but I'm just trying to just kind of want to get that mm -hmm. point across like I, I do I definitely think that it's it's serious because. I want, I want, uh, even, even no matter what, anybody I'm playing, I'm, I'm competitive. Like I want everybody to know, like, now nah, I'm better than. You. So don't plus say I'm not. I'm gonna be tight. Plus, narratives matter too, Big Ox. I mean, yeah. uh, amongst us, like we know who you are and we know what type of dude you are. But if the word got out, you know, Big Ox a punk. Big Ox is soft. Immediately, like if you just heard it from one person and you ain't hear from us, ain't no big deal. But now you heard it from 10 people. Then you heard it from 15 people. Then you heard it from another 100 people. Yo, these dudes think I'm soft for real? It's going to start to resonate with you. It's going to start to, wait a minute, these dudes think I'm soft. And I got to prove that I'm not. Mm -hmm. That's why, I, That's why, from a competitive standpoint, sure, mm -hmm. I want, if I'm Russell Westbrook, that Kyle Lowry knows that I'm the real deal when he stands in front of me. Sure, I know that Joker is looking at, looking at, looking at Joel Embiid saying, this dude needs to. He, I, 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 I need him to respect me. Sure, Joker mm -hmm. might not care on the surface. He might not care on the surface. But please believe, behind closed doors, when enough people say, "Joker, you wasn't better than Sabonis," what? Yes, I was. That's gonna mm -hmm. start the because just from a competitive standpoint, these guys care a lot more than we think that they do. Chill, and that's. I was gonna say something very similar. Like it's not about who's saying it as much as about what's being said yeah it's because for the most part when it comes to certain players it's people all echoing the same thing Le lebron's was is he ever going to win a ring is he clutch enough can he shoot kd's was can can he ever make it to the promised land can he win it now can he win without curry it's more so people echoing the same thing russ was is he controlled enough to be a, a, a point guard to lead a championship team and you could go down the list joel and beads narrative right now and it's from everybody We've heard everybody from us saying it to other podcasts. I'm assuming let's keep it a buck says it. I'm 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 assuming that uh they well they say it on ESPN, they say it on FS1. Can Joel be healthy enough you to make care a, about a, that? A, a, you think he a, don't a, care a, about you, that? You see, so I it's not about who's saying about it. That. It's it's yeah. right. It's about I the I think narrative. he'd care about it if no one was saying the same thing too. Because I think he wants to win. That, that that's yeah. my that's my stance. I think Embiid doesn't care more about him not getting out of the second round. Because people criticize him for it more than it's he wants to win. Playing he's in not Philly? Winning. So he and, cares and why, about and why, that he's not Why winning. would he want to win, Mars? And and why would he want to win? Because he likes losing. Just, oh, that's not the point that I'm making, Mars. That's not the point that I'm making. The well, point that I'm making is he, he, well, nobody likes losing, but there's, so there's things that come with winning. It's not just pressure that comes with winning. You know what else comes with winning, Mars? Praise. And he wants to hear that too. He wants to hear how awesome he is. He wants mm -hmm. to hear how much everybody loves him. He wants to hear that he's the best five man in the league. He wants to hear him being in the same conversation with Chamberlain and Jabbar. He wants to hear that. Absolutely, he does. Yeah, maybe, he maybe, maybe it's projection from me then, because I just know how little I care. So maybe I'm projecting that onto these guys. Right. So maybe that's why they right. made it to a high level, and I quit. So maybe right. that's why. So yeah, I'm I'm projecting my lack of care for other people's opinions on these guys. So that's very possible. Maybe he maybe they do care more than I I would like to give them credit. So. Shout MP13 sent through a super chat and said, theoretically, chill, isn't multiple guys who can provide playmaking a bit more reliable than the issue where teams overly rely on one playmaker? I've seen that happen with Braun teams repeatedly before. I heard the and Big Ox, you're a football guy, and I've heard this more than once, more than twice. If you got two quarterbacks, how many you got, Big Ox? You got two quarterbacks? If you got two quarterbacks, how many you got? Zero. Hmm. That's how many you got. That's how many you got. So, be, it's, 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 as good as 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 good as other guys are, I do need a guy who can do this. I do need mm. that. So, all right, from the top, Quay Quab Quabe said, "If you're so confident, put up the stats." He did. 
We did. He actually did put the stats up. Yes, he did. Culture mm -hmm. Saunders said Andre Roberson is better than you, Christopher. <laughs> An NBA player is better than you. How about that? A starter on a championship contender is better than you. Wow. <laughs> Skip Payless said Luca went off. Took him 30 shots to get 33. That's because he kept rebounds in his own misses. Moses! <laughs> How many did you count in that possession, Moses? I think I counted four. I think it was four. I think he missed four layups and just got his rebound every time. It doesn't count. So them 18 rebounds, four of them was from right there. Yeah, he, he really got like 13. <laughs> like only one of his offensive rebounds do I really count. So he got one offensive rebound, then he got a bunch of defensive ones, but a bunch of them were un uncontested. So really, he had like six rebounds, in my honest opinion. Dom, but Dom, 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 we, we, we can have ethical rebounds too. Just so I'm about to say, so he yeah. had yeah. unethical yeah. rebounds. I feel yeah, yeah. We, we, that, that yeah. happen, Damo, just so we clear. <laughs> he, yeah, he had, he had like... He had ethics like matter in basketball, man. I'm telling you, context <laughs> of ethics. I'm bringing context of ethics in 2024. If you're missing on purpose, then yeah. But if you really rebound in your miss, like that's... That's good. That's that double being able to be explosive and just get that double. Job, that's fine. I'm about to say, just make your layup, man. Like, okay, you make the layup, he doesn't get the extra four rebounds, and then I'm guess what? Thinking, he's still going to and everyone praises him more. I'm and thinking, I'm thinking, thinking we're talking, I'm thinking we talking about who. I'm not thinking we. Nah, just don't miss the layup. You're going to miss <laughs> and keep coming down with it. Yeah, my, my, bad, my bad, my bad, Mars. I thought we were talking about who. My bad. Nah. <laughs> as a guy who played big, if I went down there, my guard gave me the ball in a good spot, and I missed three layups in a row. And on right. the fourth, when I make it, when I'm coming up, they're not, they're not your good shot, big fella. No, hey man, you have bad, up. you have bad teammates. My team, my team, my team, my surprise, my team are surprising me for sticking with it, cause I'm, I'm, you know, it's the, it's, it's a, it's a cap on the rim tonight, and I'm missing it, but I'm hustling, getting my own rebound. I'm, I'm playing physical. They like, hey, that's, you know, that's work. Hit be, you know what I'm saying? Finish the day. Yeah, they definitely Damo, definitely like, yo, come on, man, fin finish that. But at the same time, it's like, oh. You hustling, you getting you you playing hard, and the crowd loves that too. The crowd loves when you you getting that quick jump, getting back at it. You think you're going, in, oh, give it back. Let me get another one. You know, shit. They they love that. You know, my you have bad teammates, Dama. They supposed to hype you for that. So Ticker was right. You do be missing layups. I've I've been I've missed layups, but yeah, I, yeah, I miss layups. I don't know what I'm supposed to say, Ron. No, I don't miss layups. And yeah, so I miss I miss everything I've shot. Every shot I've ever shot, I've missed it. But I've made. You know what I'm saying. Like from everywhere, from everywhere I've shot, I've missed it. You know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. That sounded better in your head. Sounds you like you what? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Did Damo? Did Damo? That's how the philosophy goes. Like it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, because every shot I missed, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, though. Know <laughs> but every everywhere I've shot the ball at, I've missed that shot before. Is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, definitely. Quab. The good, the good, good, good fella Quab sent through another super chat and said, "The show not about your overseas, <laughs> the show not about your overseas leagues ticket. It's about NBA players. So when you talk about players, you can never be. You need to respect them. I assume that goes for everybody hey, up here. So earlier, yeah, Ali. <laughs> uh, Prince Ali Rogers said, "Big Ox Fox sold me and cost me two hundred last night." Bro, on his second strike with me, I don't, have I don't no care. I don't care. Knocks. I ain't trying to hear none of these parlay dudes. Anything yeah. that these parlay dudes do, I don't want to hear it. Get the I hell out of here. I don't care about your, you. I don't here. care about you parlay who watches. Because worst of all, worst of all, I don't care about the uh, uh, De'Aaron selling you. Because De'Aaron has sold Demontis. De'Aaron has consistent, not consistently. No disrespect, because De'Aaron really like that. But too many times have I seen De'Aaron sell Demontis, so I don't care about him selling you for two hundred funky ass dollars. You, did you we, need the free, we need the free Demontis. Did That's you guys lose mean. again? No, nah, no, nah, we just beat the Hawks, but who, who, oh. everybody beat the Hawks. I'm talking about games that matter. What happened mm. in Milwaukee? De'Aaron sold Demontis. What happened in Phoenix against Phoenix? De'Aaron sold Demontis. Oh, what happened I in the playoffs? De'Aaron sold Demontis. It's hard to carry that big ass in the playoffs. Okay. I told Rock, I told y'all De'Aaron De De sold man free Demontis. Man, De'Aaron is selling Demontis. Ron, Ron, can your man handle it? Can he handle it? Yes, no. no. All no, I'm saying, well, this this what I'm saying. This no. what I'm saying. Y'all y'all have called y'all have called me y'all have called me last year a biased Kings fan because everybody wasn't shocked that we actually were winning, and I was saying it. I've been called biased about this team all the time. But I think that's unfair because everything I was saying the positive about us last year, even the beginning of this starting this year, was true. Every time I every time I criticize us, it's true. I criticize us when we when we play bad, 
right now, I'm, I'm saying the point guard that I'm thinking is a top five point guard in the NBA, who I thought play, was playing like an MVP at the beginning of the season. He has sold the Montes. I'm I'm just being critical of the team. We can we I, can bounce I back. I told you to we'll trade him and keep Halliburton. I told your ass that four chill years out, ago. You out. didn't want to listen it's to too me. Many, oh, it's, too many, chill out. it's too many games that we thought that we're supposed to win. It's games like that. Games against teams that matter that we're supposed to win. So he's not ready yet. I thought he was. Now, he needs another season. I know somebody who is. I don't got I'm not I'm not even concerned about Tyrese Halliburton right now. I'm not talking about that. I know somebody that is that is ready right now. Speaking of which, uh, somebody that's ready and another point guard um, against the Kings last night. Uh, I watched on playback with my good friend J. Rob. We watched Dejounte Murray really go crazy last night. He had thirty five points, ten rebounds, and six assists. So along with Free Sabonis, Free Dejounte, I can't wait to see him spread his wings and fly on another team where he could actually be the point guard. I nah, Ron, for real, like that free De, that free Demontis campaign ain't real. Like, don't really free Demontis. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, no, uh -oh. Well, nah, because I'm just I'm just saying that as a way, like, uh -oh. of, of, like spiritual encouragement to De'Aaron. Like, bro, get your get your shit together. Uh -oh. man, because yeah. if we, like if, that. if we, if we like that. that's what it sound like, big. That's what it sound we, like. You know what I'm uh, saying? Nah, if we free, if we free Demontis, like I said, I'm done. I'm done with this king. Yeah, that's what it. That's what it sound like. Like, get him up out of here. Nah, don't get him up out of there. We need Demontis. What if they trade De'Aaron? You'll be okay with that. No, nah, I'll be tight unless we trade him out? for like if we trade him for like no, nah, wouldn't depending on who we trade him for. If we oh. trade him for Jalen Brown, I'll I'll be cool with that. But if y'all trade Demontis, no matter who y'all get for him, you're out. We trade Demontis, it got to be for Jalen Brown. Got to be for Giannis. <laughs> like, oh my God! So yeah, yeah essentially so you're yeah. out. Okay. Yeah, I'm yes. done. I'm done. No. We, if we if we trade Demontis, I'm I'm done. All right, y'all. Winner sent through a super chat. Said Damo, how do you feel about the Terry Rozier trade? I love it, man. W trade for the Heat. They got them a scorcher. T Roro can play some meaningful basketball again. I miss seeing Scary Terry in the playoffs. Um, it, yeah, I, I think it's a great trade. Obviously, I don't think Charlotte's gonna do anything with what they got. Uh, it's already being talked about about where um Kyle Cor I'm not Kyle Corver. Kyle Lowry goes after this. Uh, they're supposed to be shipping them out. Hopefully, that could be the third team. That Atlanta's looking for in the DeJounte Murray deal, so we can get DeJounte in um LA and send D on his way. Cause I hate seeing D Lo get get done like this. It, it's not fair for him. And that's just what happens when you're a Lakers, uh, when you're playing for the Lakers. The fans are toxic. But yeah, hopefully this works out in the end. I don't know what the Hornets is gonna do with that 2027 pick. Whatever freshman in high school that's gonna have to suffer being in Charlotte because that pick. <laughs> hey, sorry, brother. Hey, they won last night. They they, you know, Brandon Miller. P.J. Washington, Miles Bridges, and Lamelo, they showing a little bit of promise. Who knows? Man, I do, I do not care about the jail hornets. They need to blow it up. Mm. I mean everything. I mean, I, I mean leave the city. Everything. Destroy it. <laughs> Go to hey, South Carolina? Relocate. Get send out of your them, Carolina? Hey, <laughs> send them to Seattle. Make them the Supersonics. I'm done with them. I'm done. No, keep us out of this. No, no, no. Give, no, no, no. We're getting an expansion Seattle. team. We, we, no, we're no, 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 like, no, 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 no. Just start look, with this. We're trying to add to the league, okay? We're not trying to trying to add to the troubles of the league. We're trying to add on to the expansion of the league. Hey, Chilton, hey, can, you, can you run it down one more time? How does the expansion work? How does the draft or how does it work? Um, you getting the, the players? Team, teams protect eight players on their roster and then the eight other rushes, seven. Okay. And then the other seven get put into the expansion draft for the team to draw 15 guys from everyone who's available. And then, Fine. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. That's the way that works. Pimp Is it eight named? players? My fault. Go ahead. In the, any eight players they want, regardless of, regardless of salary, right? Mm -hmm. They can just protect yeah. any eight. Okay. Pimp named Slickback said Brandon Miller is special, man. I need to watch more Charlotte games to see more of him. He didn't look like that last. He didn't look like that last summer. Or there was some people up here that was like, "Yo, Charlotte made a mistake." Man, I, I tried to tell him, "Hey, man, you're bugging." And I tried to tell everybody they made the right choice. Mm. I think I, I was more wrong about Scoot than right about Brandon Miller, though. Yeah. In terms of how good Scoot would be out the gate, mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't know Scoot was blind. He he just needed some goggles. I couldn't have told that. Like I didn't know <laughs> the brother couldn't see. Like, the basket further away, faster. The basket further away. Dom, I need glasses. I can't see, been yo. Seeing, he been seeing three rims his whole life. And That's now the problem. That's why I can't shoot. No, I ain't glasses. Uh, I <laughs> he so he he just he just been shooting for the one in the middle the whole time. That's what Honestly, the problem he, is. He's I can't see. Hey, making it work. <laughs> That's fire. Hey, um, I told y'all Portland could Portland could have Brandon Ingram. MP13 said T Wolves, the first number one seed in memory, where I could see them losing to seeds two through five 
in the playoffs. Their half court offense is horrible. I believe that's how I probably thought about the Jazz in 21. 21. Yeah, I probably thought the Jazz could have lost to any of the teams in two through five. Uh, Brat said, Damo is the LeBron of the panel. Quote, unquote, I knew that, that, that. <laughs> the only oh, difference yeah. is, when I say I knew, there's factual evidence to back it up. Go watch that draft episode of, of Player's Choice, and you tell me who was the one sitting up here praising Brandon Miller, saying that, hey, this kid is nice. This is the right pick. I'm just saying, with LeBron, it's a bunch of speculation, things that ain't never been said on camera, and he's proven to be lying about. Again, same page of every book that you see him with. Crazy. Me? <laughs> I'll be on camera telling the truth. Just go find Like when you say you knew about OKC and ranked him 17th. Hey, hey, hey. And that was different. That was a LeBron moment. That was, was, was LeBron moment. What, what if I was to tell you that I laid it on a little was heavy it. and Damo didn't actually do that? Okay, so where did he pick that? No, we just don't need to know it. that. We can just keep it as what we believe is he had done a 17th. It's too well, late. We're, it, and if you told us something different, we ain't believing it. We already got yeah, the, narr the narrative's been built. The narrative's been built. That's, that's what we had with it now. Oh, that's, crazy. That's, everything. that's crazy. It's too late. That's crazy. I would that's believe crazy. I would believe that Ron would actually lie lie like that and also believe that Dama wouldn't remember where he had him. Like shit, maybe I did. And I now you just go with it. Well, <laughs> so that's exactly well, what happened, big ops. That's exactly what happened. Here's the thing, y'all. <laughs> it wasn't 17, it was 16. Okay, oh, so what's the oh, <laughs> makes my apologies. apologies. I, I apologize. Uh yes. Pip named Slickback said this is the other side of the go bear trade. Was it worth going all in for all, all in for a guy whose timeline doesn't really turn you into a true title contender? What are you yes, talking about, yo? Yes, it does, what? bro. That was a great trade. Oh my god, these dudes was the eighth seed two years ago. They're the number one seed, and they probably gonna have the defensive player. Of the year on their crew this year, but oh wait a minute, they're not winning the NBA championship, which we don't know yet. <laughs> but they're not winning the NBA championship. Give me a break, man. Damn. Uh, MP13 again said, "Damo, the Wolves played that. The Wolves played that last game in 2K in 2K randoms in the wreck when they have when they have one guy scoring, just force feeding this man the ball. It was crazy. See." I don't know what that's like because usually when I'm force feeding and got a ball, I'm still doing my job as the big man. Boards, blocks, mm. leak out passes, everything. I'm still doing my job and we still win it. So you can go for 100. It's going to be 100 and a win. There's no Never folding around here. Never heard such cap. But oh, that's stuff. First of all, don't let Mars tell you. No, don't let Mars lie to y'all about 2K no more. I finally got a chance to play with him. This and I scored 40 back to back games. I scored 40 back to back games. And Dom is like, Unethical. I'm really feeling it. Like what? Quiet forty in games. Imagine seeing somebody drop eighty points. I need eighty points. I'm scoring forty. One of six of them is coming from me throwing it to him. How do you score? How do you score? How do you score? How do you score eighty quietly? What the hell? I don't even know anything about the most quiet. I don't even know. I don't even know much about 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 two K. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna score quiet. In twenty minute games, chill. You the big man in the game. I'm scoring. Just going up. Down. You're like, man, Apparently I'm the bad guy. There's points on the board, but where are they coming from? I don't remember who scored. Right. <laughs> we're, winning, we're winning games convincingly. I'm scoring 40 in 20 minutes. All of a sudden, my impact is crushing. Wow. <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> Quiet. Hey, you know, uh, I'm running a poll right that, now. Uh, and the poll is, who's better in 2K? Damo Mars or Chill? Definitely not me. I can tell you that right now. I'm I'm garbage. Thank you. I don't even know how to play it. I don't even know how to play it. So I'm done. don't put me on that page because I don't know how to play. Uh, sorry, the poll's already been ran. So uh, how do I get you guys go vote and wins and be question? I have your impact question. I guess <laughs> you got Come a guy doing everything else, man. Like you all you had to do was score. Oh, all you had to do was score. I, and couple more super game. chats, y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. Your Highness Charles said, bruh, can we ban stat news and basketball reference? We got fans on Twitter and YouTube saying Brunson has passed Tatum now because of his BPM and VORP, V-O-R-P. Value, value, value over replacement play. Huh. <laughs> real, real oh, well, you say it. That's not crazy to say. Brunson over his, Brunson over Tatum. Exactly. I'm about, to, I'm about to have a real hard time keeping this uh, New Year's resolution. I think Jokic has the highest PR of all time. He does. He passed Jordan. Yeah, I seen that on, I seen that on Twitter a few days ago. So he's better than Jordan. 
Smokes him. So he better than Jordan. Reference to stat muse. Yep. They, basketball reference to stat muse can't lie. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. It, it's impossible for them to contradict themselves. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of basketball reference and stat muse because it, it just gives us a it, it, it gives me more information, stuff that I didn't know years ago. That now I can that don't get me wrong, that can't be my that can't be the meat and potatoes of my argument. You, know, you average 26 a game. No, I, it's definitely got to be more than that. But I can go back and I can go look at I can go look up information. And that can that can definitely help me. Sure, I'm I'm a fan of stuff like that. Facts, definitely. It's just it, it, I am too. When I think about it, I just realize like it's just people, it's the viewers, the people that are using it that are abusing mm-hmm. the way it's supposed to be used. Like, right, just taking it too far. I fellas, just feel like it depends got... on what you use it for. But go ahead, Ron, because it's not that much time. F- fellas, we do got to wrap things up. Chris mm-hmm. Houghton did say the last super chat of the day. He said, "Wilt rolling over in his grave, listening to Damo right now." What you say, Damo? The center conversation. I had Hakeem as the best, but um, Kareem as the goat. Got it. Uh, and also, I do want to say, uh, like the video on your way out. If you haven't liked the video, now is the perfect time to do so. You will catch us tomorrow with the same crew. Also, tonight on Playback, we have Chill and Ron. Oh boy, Chill. Oh, we when did they put me on Playback? Hold I up, I gotta, I gotta get in that one. <laughs> I mean, I guess Chill and Ron. I, I didn't even know. I just pulled it up. Chill and Ron are watching the Pacers and Nuggets. Game. Yes, all we right, that's cool. we doing it. Mm. All right, throw me in the fire. All right. And then shortly thereafter, we got J Rob Seven and Jalen. Three Lakers fans or Glazers, whatever you want to call them. They are watching the Lakers and the Clippers. So y'all tune in. Me and Malls will be back soon. Me and Malls will be back soon. Saturday, I believe. Yes, we are. For the Denver Philly rematch. Yes. Yes, All All right. And oh, also, we have this guy next. Yo, yo, yo. I'm playing music, bro. What's wrong with you? You be sure to tune in. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Check us out. Uh, look at this dude right here. He wowed. <laughs> <laughs>